at this uh, point, I'd like to uh, open the meeting of the Carver Conservation Commission for August 16th, 2017. Um, our first order of business will be the appointments of um, a scout for uh, some activities on the coal property. If they'd uh, come up first, please, to the... Excellent. Sorry, I made a really big poster. <laughs> <laughs> That's about a hundred times better than a lot of the presentations we get from other people. Well, we did this good on the poster. What do you think he's going to do on the trail? <laughs> mm hmm. So uh, I'm Kyle Rizzuto, and I'm from Troop 48 Carver. I'm an Eagle candidate, and this is my project, the Coal Property Trail Enrichment. So my plan is to go onto the coal property and to clean up the walking trails by cutting down the trees that are falling down in, into the path, and also by cutting out the overgrowth that is fall like that's inside of the path, like this poison ivy and thorns. Yes, great. And then after that, I would like to install two benches and two bat houses, and the bat houses to keep out mosquitoes. And the benches because it's a long walk. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you could put in a gazebo. <laughs> okay, that sounds good, Carol. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know if the agent would you want to look at the uh, plans you, for them? Could, uh, Mr. Chairman, can you bring that up so we can see what so he's doing? It's yeah, way okay. back there. I'd like to see so it. Those are the pictures I mean, they put a lot of effort into this presentation. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. See, so a lot of effort into the yeah. presentation. I want to take a look at her. Just bring it right up here. Actually, could you flip it around? There we go. The mm -hmm. Those are the benches you're going to install right there. Yeah. There's there's the one bench I put a lot of time into this. Have you been walking there for a long time? Uh, yes, I understand. Some of these photos are earlier, I think, I think I can see from, I, I started walking there when we got a hold of it and uh, recording it before they put the paved road in or the gravel road in. Are you going to secure the benches? Yes. You know, because there's that one that's out by the bog, I don't know if you've been out that side and they put, you know, table. some concrete and had to, yeah, chained it. Got an anchor. So Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bring it right over to those ladies over there. They get sure. to take a peek at it. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, because we've seen yeah. we've seen a lot of this when we've walked yeah. around out yeah. there. Well, yeah, stuff. I said yeah. something about the deadwood myself when I yeah. got it off the trails. Like somebody was listening. Yeah. <laughs> There's a big tree down across the not one of the official yeah. trails, but a, yeah. the, the pathing. The, yeah, the big one where the it's actually where the. Um, Water line runs yeah. un underneath so it. We, want to we go probably should cut and, that and because it, or other or people or might or try to step over it and fall yeah. down like I did. Yeah. <laughs> Whichever you want. Yeah. Everything that's in the way. We'll let you know when we're okay. doing it. All right. Yeah. yeah. Let's let's sure. Okay. And then yeah. we can just come by and yeah. Perfect. Uh, yeah. We'll okay. send you an email and tell yeah. you like like Sunday. Kyle's going to be down there this this yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Can I like to know when it's complete so we can go out there and take a look at their work. Just open it up. That'd be great. Sure. Thank you. Can we get a shot in the audience? And he should be uh, careful. Face toward one of the wall. Um, count there. On the, wall. The, the, the camera there, see, in the center. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> Love to come careful, out and take a look at really it really when you're all done, you okay? Yeah. Yeah. We'll make sure it when he's out there, too. I'd like to see their work, yeah? Oh, good. Okay. I'm proud of the If this project runs a little long and you have to take some breaks from college to come back and work on it, we'll understand. I said if he does too good a job, then you can find other stuff for him to do, too. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Carl. Poor guy. Yeah. Run the other way. Have you identified the paths that you're going to be working on, or is it all of them? Yeah, all of them. Okay. Now, That's a lot of... It is. Now, <laughs> we've been out there as a, yep. as a commission uh, regarding the work that was done behind the solar, mm -hmm. and we've seen a lot of damage by four-wheelers yeah. and things like yeah. that. So one of the things that we had talked about was trying to do something to make the path, at least there, a little bit less That's accessible to, um, to motorized vehicles. Mm. So if you could think about something like that, there were, you can, I think if you look at the path that's directly behind the 
solar panels, solar panels you'll see the ruts yeah from the, from the four yeah. wheels. it's it's the uh, section of the blue trail and if your fallen trees happen to go in that area we wouldn't have a problem with it right so what we were looking at there were, there are a couple of areas where there are uh, the path goes through um, a, two trees that are very close together and the, the four wheelers have created a, their own new path yeah, around right. that because it's a pinch point they can't get through it so what, if you can do it, what we'd love for you to do is to redirect that traffic through those pinch points <laughs> to uh, slow them down, to slow them down or, or make sure that they just can't continue to use those because, as you say, they are walking trails. They are not uh, for four-wheel trails. All right, so strong. if that's something you just keep in your mind when you're out there, that any time you see something that where the trail can be narrower because of immovable objects. Yeah, we don't have the problem with a tree yeah. falling right forward. Are there other guys uh, working toward an eagle? Uh, yeah, I think there's three other projects on the one just recently got completed by Ken Sheen and he painted the uh, fence of the Council of Agents. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot going on. Yeah, there's one on Savory right. Avenue as well. Yeah. Right. Planting trees. That's so terrific. Good okay, for you guys. So we, I'm just wondering if he needs more manpower. Um, well, maybe we could somehow give advance credit to the guys that are what, uh, Life, uh, and, uh, Step Four Eagle, mm -hmm. and uh, it's been a long time since I was a scout. I <laughs> don't remember it all that vividly. Uh, okay. Thank Thanks, you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thrilled Good luck to you. You want to be out there, and we'll, we'll, some of us will come by. And yeah, we'd love yeah, to come by and see it. Yeah, that would be Kyle's job. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is his project. Okay. He, he, is, he is the lead. I'm, I'm just here as an advisor. Mm -hmm. I am a scout master, but I am his yep. advisor yep. also. Yep. Sure. Um, but he does, he'll be in charge of everything. Yep. I'm just okay. there to make sure nobody gets hurt, if anybody okay. needs a ride, it's just logistic okay. support and everything like yep. that. Okay. Um, obstacles, can we use fallen logs and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, sure, absolutely. If that's yeah. not a problem? Absolutely. No, yeah. no problem at we, all. We identified quite a few broke down trees that, that were very close to pro in proximity to the areas where we could create the pinch points. When we were out there, it was something we were thinking of getting done uh, ourselves. Mm -hmm. But you know, you come stepping forward yeah. to do this. Yeah, as yeah. Well. We, we, go, yeah. we get plenty go of boys with a lot of energy. Yep. So. Great. Right. Yeah, they're younger, yeah. stronger backs. Yeah. And, <laughs> and just to let you know, we work um, closely out there with Audubon. Yes. So things that we do out there, we have to kind of let them know what's going on. Something like this, they I would never have a problem with. But we, that's one of their big concerns is the the four wheelers, and they want to try to yeah the Audubon yeah access and yeah. stuff for them too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. I also had two smaller things. Um, one, so I know we already started talking about the obstacles, and maybe we could use like some logs to block off those pinch points to make it more mm -hmm. of a walking path, less of a driving path. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, as for the rest of the logs, is there anywhere you'd like to get the wood donated, or could I give it to the volunteers? Well, if they're, if they're pine, they're not, you know, there's not much you can do with pine. There's, there are a lot of dead oaks, uh, both yeah. standing and fallen, and uh, if you clear those, yes, I see no reason why they shouldn't go to the mm -hmm. volunteers working on the project. It'd be great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Would, yeah. Some years ago, we had projects where people bid mm -hmm. on certain sections that were marked and uh, went in to cut and work on it themselves, but uh, I would say of the maybe eight or ten projects we had laid out, only about three ever followed through. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was a lot of work, and uh, people... <laughs> lost their enthusiasm. So you know, leave it for the people. If you, you know, yeah. leave it for the people who are working on it. The parents Reuse, and so forth. Mm -hmm. Better work. Be fine. Do me a favor. Could you sign in, please, before you leave? Oh yeah. Thank you very much. We'd appreciate it. And then also the uh, second thing. Uh, there's a gate blocking the entrance for a lot of cards, stuff like that. I was wondering if I could get. I know there's a little box uh, out front. I think it has a key to the gate. If I could possibly maybe have the code to that to get some stuff in, so get trucks in to move out the wood and yeah. stuff like that. Can we just? Uh, we could probably issue you a key. Yeah, let's right. issue them a yeah. key. Oh, you got right. One? Then you're really responsible. <laughs> right. Then you're really <laughs> responsible. You, yeah, you are. Accountable <laughs> items. You don't lose it. Have to okay. turn it back in when you're done oh, with yeah, the sure. project. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. We'll issue a key. It, or a ideally, chair. the the gate is there to help cut down. The just uh, people who are uh, driving into it yeah. without realizing that it's a really a walking area. Yeah, you can see the boulders that are to the left of the gate have been moved to allow for the four wheelers to get in. So <laughs> <laughs> we can push them. Back. I know. Yeah. I'll, I'll send you out there one Saturday. You can give it a shove. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you. Thanks very much. 
So our next item is uh, minutes. Um, Wait, sorry, we have a. Are you all set? Oh, okay. Nate Ryan. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. He's got another project. <laughs> oh, he's got. Oh, okay. oh, he's another. He's another. Uh, hey, he's another eagle candidate. He's another candidate. We have, Great. We have four eagle candidates in the troop right now. Okay. So oh, wow. So this is Kyle's one of them. Nate's another one, and then we have two more coming. One's for Sea Rehab, and another one's for the section of the cemetery. Okay. okay. All right. Oh, good. Right. So you might be seeing me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try and put up with it. Hello, my name is Nate Ryan, and my project is doing the Julian Southworth doing World what? War, uh, Julian M. Southworth World War One Memorial Site. Okay. It's uh, over by Harvard. the Church of the Vine on Wareham Street. Oh, okay. Oh, that's okay. that area. So uh, my plan is to be moving the Memorial Rock, and I'm moving it further back away from the road. And then mm -hmm. after after that, I'll be putting in benches, a patio stone around it. And then uh, flower beds and a historical sign about the uh, Julian Tillsworth. Oh, nice. right. And then also, uh, also part of his memorial is the pine grove behind it, and it has around 35 to 40 dead pine and oak trees. Yeah. So my plan is to replace, uh, cut them down, and then replace them with evergreens. Okay. I think that those are uh, red pines. I'm not red sure. Red pines. Uh, you right. might look at. Uh, they, there was an effort to reforest certain parts of this area. Um, there's some just off of uh, Federal Furnace Road as you go toward Plymouth, and down in the State Forest there were some patches, and they all became victims of a uh, a disease of some yeah, sort. Yeah, it was. Uh, I believe it was uh, caterpillars and the moss. Maybe okay. So, but all these dead trees are all in one clump in the right. middle. Right. So I think that's what it's. From. Yeah. That would that would be good to have that taken down. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, ideally, then we could find something that might be a little more hardy and more, uh, you okay. know, related to um, our area. Yep. Um, we'll put white pines in there, and then they'll grow 80 feet tall. And we'll have to take them out for safety. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But no, that's good. That that project sounds good. All right. And uh, I, um, my only question was already answered by Kyle about what we should do with the wood. Mm -hmm. So. Is it the same thing you would like for with Kyle's uh, project? Yeah, the, um, the there you'd have to take it off the site, right, Mr. Chairman? Yeah, actually, probably we could get the DPW to pick it up, All right. and uh, possibly they would just they would chip it and uh, get rid of it that way. Yep, right. that'd be a great idea. If someone you know if someone wants to use the hardwood in a wood stove or a fireplace, yes. something like that, by all means they can. But yeah. the pine you can't use inside, so that would probably be yeah they could chip it for you. All right, yeah. the DPW could chip it, plan, right? Yeah. Right. Yep. Get a hold of them. Yeah. Would it be able to use as mulch for the flower beds? Uh, if it were chipped, yes. Yeah. yeah. It definitely, uh, and, yeah. and you worked it into the soil so that you enriched it with that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I think that's fine. Sounds good. It uh, it helps to hold the water in the soil uh, very uh, very well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a whole new school of agriculture where you p put chips down underneath your soil and I uh, can't remember what it's called now. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> and then uh, the benches, I'm also going to be bolting them down to. Probably you'll want to, yes. Uh, yeah, Baltimore sediment concrete, whatever you think is right. Well, I, I was also thinking, I think I was going to have the benches stone. Mm -hmm. so stone? I think I was going to have the benches stone. Mm -hmm. Not uh -huh. not a definite yet, but I believe I was going to make them stone. That would help to... Uh, Alleviate the problem of them being <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> stolen easily. <laughs> so. right. Thank right. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Good luck to the both of you. See you again. Sign in. Sign in. Mm -hmm. So just real quick, Jim, if, if I can suggest. Yeah. We have um, like four real quick things. Yes. So I thought before we Skip open the minutes, the yeah. before the minutes and before the seven fifteen hearing. Right. Uh -huh. If we could um, maybe do Bow Street, which should be quick. It's just a, a minor amendment yep. to the plan. And then the three COCs that we, or the two COCs we saw today, and another COC that's very simple. Okay. Right. We'll do those. And then yeah. and then those people don't have to wait till Forever. all the hearings. Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we don't have to get subject them to <laughs> all the torture. Okay. <laughs> so our next item will be the walkers from 32 Bow Street. <laughs>
this one, we, they have an order of conditions for the, for the house. Right. For the garage. So now, I believe it just changed in the, something on the porch, right? I mean, I okay. explained it to me. Or something okay. on the. Good evening. I'm Julie Walker, <laughs> and I'm here with my husband, Mark. We have brought um, an updated site plan that, that includes a slight revision to the footprint of our proposed dwelling. It, um, it still meets the existing order of conditions that were um, granted to us, but we just wanted to have an accurate plan yeah. on record. And we, we haven't recorded the first one yet, so what I did was I just added the, the revised and the plan to the, to the order of conditions, so that would be the order that will get recorded. Okay. So as you can see on the plan, the, the dwelling still sits behind the 65-foot buffer zone. Mm -hmm. So is it the is it the house itself that that's changed? I can't the foot the footprint has is about two feet wider. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Do you want to look at the first one? Mm -hmm. That's that was the original house. Deep. So this okay. one is just a little bit wider that way. It looks like it's actually a little bit. And we actually moved it oh, back okay. a little bit too. It. And it's moved back a little bit. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So we, you know, we the commission you granted, you know, variance for the, for yes. the house, yeah, within 100 feet, and then the 65. Yeah. Without the original. That was in the original. You, you did, yeah. yeah. It was gravel driveway or. That's in the order conditions and stuff. Yeah. Okay. And no paving the road. Okay. So none of that's mm -hmm. right here. Uh, oh. Okay. Got it. I got it. All right. No problem in the accepting yeah. the plan. Yep. So I would say I added the, the new plan into the order, so that you know that yes. would be the one that will get reported. Okay. We probably uh, should make it a, a motion on that. Too. Motion to to accept the yes, amended plan. plan. The amended plan. On the uh, on the new drawing. On the old drawing, you had an indication of where the drive under garage driveway would be. And uh, it was uh, sort of situated between what looked like a, a boulder wall. Is your plan now to have the, um, the same driveway, uh, gravel driveway, the full width of the house? It's no, changed. It, that, the, the actual um, garage that was going to be on that lower level has changed and it's only on the left hand side of the house now okay, so, so it'll be actually be a smaller driveway uh -huh. okay that's it was indicated yes on the first drawing it was, it's not indicated here that's the only, uh, only question really that mm -hmm. I have. Yeah, yeah, I oh, I see. Isn't the order of conditions, though, remaining the same? Okay. So it's really a, and now it's just over here. On the plans? Oh, Because that's where the drug. No, that's why I asked. But he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't yeah, he didn't do it. But this is the section of garage. Oh, okay. No, I think it's still the same. So it's actually smaller. Yeah, look at the driveway difference. Yes, well, the driveway is, the driveway is ending up in the same place, but they haven't come straight off the bottom. So now, yeah, this was the old, so now it's, um, Hmm. To the left side. Yes. Yeah, so he doesn't really. Do, he doesn't have like the limits. Yeah. So it's actually over here. Over yeah. there. He doesn't have these little rocks and things here. But okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And then we 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 had it was going to be gravel. Nothing's going to be paved. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So shall we have a motion to uh, accept the uh, amended plan? I'll make a motion that we uh, accept the amended plan for 30-32 Bow Street. I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded to accept the amended plan for 30-32 Bow Street. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That's unanimous. Thank you. Right, Thank, you. Thank you. You didn't happen to sign in, did you, by chance? I don't have a pen in there, is there? There's no pen. Ah, gotcha. Oh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody got to sign in. The Boy Scouts are always here with pens. Here's one. If you want to that over in the town. It's got a gavel. It's got another pen, too. Yep. Yep. All right. Thanks. All right. So this
this is the next one. Okay. So this is the first COC self metal. Uh huh. These are pictures. We didn't go. We didn't take a look at this. Are they all the same? Uh, Sarah's um, yeah. recommendation. She said we'd never find it anyway because it's yeah. all vegetated. Oh, okay. And it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Right. So. Oh, we wouldn't really, there wouldn't have been much to look at because it's well, all grown in. So, that's how it works. Make sure you file the new one. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Sarah Stearns, uh, PWS with Beals and Thomas. Um, some of you may remember walking this site with me about three years ago. Um, it's off of Wade Street, off of South Meadow Road, off of Wade Street. It's an 80 make piece owned property. Um, a number of years back, um, we had done some site reconnaissance to do a, a site survey and discovered that there was some illegally dumped material in a very small, isolated, vegetated wetland, um, locally jurisdictional, and we came before the commission to excavate the material and dispose of it properly. So. Um, it's really a formality of sorts, just to close out this permit and just let you know that the work has been done. Um, it was completed in 2014, actually. Um, and the order was issued just through the uh, local bylaw. And there was no planting as part of this. It was allowed to revegetate on its own. I walked out there. I, I mean, I have been out there a number of times. And most recently, and what you see in your photographs is what it looks like today. And I did bring some. Um, before photos that I can oh. send around yeah. um, taken from approximately the same vantage point and it um, it actually looks a lot better now <laughs> than it did before so um, all of the uh, abatement was done under the supervision of a licensed site professional from Lightship Engineering and all of the reporting was done in accordance with um, state regulations mm -hmm. so Again, it's a 700 square foot isolated vegetated wetland. It's doing great now, and it's a lot. Signed off on that. Yep. Everybody has signed off on it. Yes, it's it's a completed project as far as um, the cleanup is concerned, um, and it looks great. Um, that's about it. We just submitted a letter um, to the commission with the photographs and the proof from the LSP sign off saying the work has been completed. So I actually issued, I mean, I issued the certificate of you know, the WPA form. Yeah, that's... Didn't have to, I, I don't really think... That's fine. Yeah. I mean, it, it, I guess it's, it won't be do recorded, you to, but... Do you want this? Do you want to record it? No, I don't, I don't think it needs to be recorded. Well, it probably doesn't. I don't... I don't know. If, I don't know if the order had been recorded or not. Just because it was done locally, it was, the, it was recorded? recorded. Okay. Yeah, the order was recorded. Well, so you don't want to show up. So I'll you know. see what the um, what my client okay. wants to okay. do. I'll right. let them make the call. Okay, just let me know. But um, I mean, I'll take it. I'll take whatever yep. okay. um, you feel is appropriate to sign off on it. Just so they have something that shows that it's yeah. been closed out by okay. the commission. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Is this yeah. land changing hands at this point, or what's going on? Uh, no, I mean they're just you know trying to close everything out okay um yeah. you know they have entertained offers on it in the past okay. um i think they're well, just trying to, to get you, yeah you definitely want to get your liens off yeah, yeah. clean up some of the okay. loose ends and do some housekeeping we have a program at my office that alerts us when files are about to expire and so we tell our clients that it's time to close things out and sometimes that happens in a timely manner and years. sometimes it doesn't well, it takes three years don't worry about yeah. it yeah <laughs> right <laughs> I'm sure the rain this year helped in this area. Yeah, it's really, I mean, it's flourishing. Yeah, it's it it's densely vegetated, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, so uh, let's see. Shall we uh, So, uh, yeah. issue a COC? Yeah. Okay, mo motion if so? Yeah, so let me know if the... the I want to make a motion that we uh, issue a COC yeah. for uh, AD Make Peace on it. South Meadow Road. I'll second that. Been moved and seconded to issue a COC for AD Maypiece property off of uh, South Meadow Road. Um, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Pass unanimously. Okay. And then I'll just have you sign that, and then we can give them that at least because it's just something to show that. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, yeah.
place the garage in the addition. Look. We might, need, we might need the Boy Scouts to get some more. <laughs> My pen just ran out of ink. I got one here. Too many things. All right. So, so the Thank next you. item is 18 Pond Street. Yep. And that was the one we looked at today. Okay, yes. There was the two uh, request for two COCs. I'm, I don't think anybody's here for this. Um, the garage, you know, out in the back was uh -huh. the older file. Which is this one, 126480. And then there's one for the newer stuff, the sunroom. Mm -hmm. and the deck. Yep. So, and that was the, the newer file number. Right. Yep. So, both of those we, we saw. So, we got our checks. <laughs> Your checks? <laughs> Sorry. It's in the mail. It's recording. Huh. <laughs> so, I'll have okay, you sign those. So yeah, I told the engineer she didn't bother. She didn't need to come because I figured we wouldn't have a problem. Do we need a motion on that as motion. well? Yeah. yeah. Which one are we doing yeah, first? You could probably make a motion for each one because it's two different file numbers. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So on uh, DEP SE 126-480, we need a motion to uh, issue a COC. I'll make a motion that we issue a COC on uh, SE 126-480. I'll second that. To move seconded to uh, issue the COC for DEP SE 126-480. Um, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That's unanimous. I'll make a uh, motion that we approve uh, the COC request on SE 126-536. I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded to issue a COC for uh, SE 126-536. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That's unanimous. Okay. There you go. Okay. Excellent. Did we do Walker Road yet? Uh, we looked at no. Walker Road, remember down? We didn't do it yet. No. Oh. Which one? Well, we, That's no, we next. Walker Road. Yeah. That's the one. We, we looked at it outside there. Yeah. There you go. Here's the two. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. Well, I think the boys got sick. They have to stay here. Any problems with it? The cottage. The cottage. The cottage. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see any problems with it. No. Nope. No. Nope. It looks fine. It looks fine. Oh, nope. good. Oh, um. What, do you want to do a proposal? On? Yeah. Okay. Oh, proposal for uh, 22 Walker. 33. Um, 33. What did I say? 22. Oh, 36. 33. <laughs> 30, 33. 33 Walker Road. Uh, DEP number SE 126-99. Um, we need uh, a COC for that. And a second? I'll second. second. Oh, go ahead. Jane. I'll second. Okay, so we have a um, motion and a second for uh, to issue a COC for 33 Walker Road, DP SE 126-99. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That's unanimously. There we go. Okay. We're knocking them down tonight. Pay for work. Oops. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So we're going to go to the next one. Again. Skip the discussions. We got it. So at this point, we will uh, open the discussion on uh, 
the uh, is that 26 Gate Street? No. The uh, the RDA. Those are Roof, minutes. Okay. Route 44 DOT. Route 44. Next page. Top of yeah. the page. Sorry. <laughs> I've got into the minutes <laughs> by accident. Okay. okay. 715 Route 44 Mass DOT. Come. On. You're on deck. <laughs> I'm glad they're here. <laughs> <laughs> I left my pen in the car. <laughs> um, what we have before you is a request for termination for applicability for um, some tree trimming work to be done on Route 44 um, from the Millborough Carver Town Line to the um, Carver Plimpton Town Line. Uh, the work the work is um, involves a number of things. We're going to be resurfacing, milling and resurfacing the roadway first. And then we will be um, tree, uh, tree trimming and clearing, widening uh, the safe zones on the each side of the road, um, and that's that's why we're here tonight for that for that work. Because that work, um, the resurfacing work is exempt, as well as a six foot uh, buffer from the edge of road for tree trimming is also exempt. But we intend to go beyond that um, to 15 to 20 feet um, in some areas. Uh, that this work is necessary as as you know the road um, road size tend to overgrow as we as the uh, as the growth um, continues and we don't um, keep up with the with the trimming as we should so when we so when we come in with our resurfacing projects we like to go through and and trim everything back and get things opened up the way they should be um, like I said it's just it's just uh, trimming the trees and within that 15 foot uh, 15 20 foot buffer we're not we're not going to be um, stumping or uh, creating any time or you know earth disturbance it's, it's just strictly um, managing the managing the overgrowth of the of the trees and I request a negative termination for this work yep. so as he said it, it's really pretty much exempt you know if it, if it has to do with visibility on the roads and road you know work with yeah, yeah, yeah. side roads can so we can issue a negative determination for that. So most of the tree trimming is going to be from 58 West. Okay. Um, from 58 West, yes. Yeah. Hmm. There's a tree down on the west side, on westbound lane, at uh, almost into the uh, almost shoulder. The yeah, that, that this that's the intent is we we've been trying to you know do this with our resurfacing jobs to get those trees that are coming down um, or, or threat to come down, mm -hmm. so they won't hopefully come down on the roadway and, and cause a, a problem. Uh, we you know it has happened um, in another locality where that has happened, and we you know we've been trying to be a little bit more proactive in getting getting ahead of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, See no problem. No. no. Oh, yeah. So let it go. It's going to improve for us. Huh? It'll improve our own stuff. So what the hell? Mm -hmm. We've actually been seeking to try and get some boulders placed to block the approach to the solar system on the east on its east end. On the, on the other side. Okay. Yeah. 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 Because of the fact that. Uh, there's some trouble there. Yes. Sir. Can you do that? I can't do that, but uh, <laughs> I was just going to ask. Got any laying around? Uh, um, I don't. Scout project. <laughs> what, excuse me. We'll have scout. scout to <laughs> um, I can I can bring that request back to our maintenance folks um, and see what they can do. It's just that one side on the right on the right that one spot mainly on the right hand side of the yeah. solar panels that goes into goes the with, with the uh, access the road. Open yeah. All yeah. Times. And so well, Audubon, <clears throat> we talked to Audubon. And they were concerned, you know, for the access for dirt bikes and stuff like that too. But that would be good if we, we were going to try to get some boulders from mm -hmm. people that haven't had a lot of luck. So I don't know if that's something. That my only should. my only question would be is does the um, people that operate the solar panels do they need, do they need access? To well, they access? there's a gate that they have access to that would be beyond these boulders. Okay. So okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, they, they can get in from the back. Yeah. And it, is there someone that we should be, uh, you know? I, that can coordinate, give a name to that can coordinate um, well, with us probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just give us a holler. Yeah. There were you. You, Marty, is it? 
Yeah, uh, did, did you email me something? I think you might have emailed me. Uh, Andrew, Andrew, my boss, oh, probably okay. did, yes. She, she yeah. probably has it, yep. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I think I have it anyhow. But okay. Uh, so. Yeah, if, if, if not, I can, I'll, con I'll contact you and let you know. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah, that would be nice because Audubon would really like that. He keeps mm -hmm. asking me about the molders. Yeah, we, we oh. had tried to handle it locally, mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, it looked like it was not going to be a problem, but it's become a problem. Okay. Um, I, uh, another question that's popped in my head is, is the, it's probably within I right away. It's only, if it's out of I right away, then we might, we might have a problem with it. But if it's within I right away, I don't think it would be a problem. Uh, it, well, it's up, it's partly up the slope. I, uh, how far so about does equal the with the fence? Is that the fence is your The fence problem? line is probably our property line, yeah. So, so it's probably about even with the fence, don't you think? Right. Where the fence ends? Yeah. Well, I mean, we you could yeah. move it down onto the state yeah. property and yeah. put yeah. more boulders. As long as it's blocked off, it doesn't really matter where. Yeah. We, we, couldn't put, we wouldn't want to put the boulders too close to the highway, though. That's, no, I know. But no. I'm, I'm not. I'm, yeah. I don't have a problem. Right at your property yeah. line. Yeah. Or yeah. At the fence line. Maybe if you. Um, Take a look at it, and yeah. uh, you know. Oh, we could meet somebody. Yeah, we could meet. Yeah, I mean, it's probably the best thing. Sure. Yep. Yep. What There's a think? fellow doing a lot of earth removal to build bogs down South Garber, who has large boulders, and he has offered them, but getting them up to there uh, <laughs> is a challenge. What, Jimmy can't roll one up. They, they, <laughs> he he thought he could probably put a couple of them on a flatbed and bring it up, and then they'd have a, a front end loader that would move it up the hill, but uh, hasn't quite worked out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I will bring the request back, and I will, um, you know, if you want to contact us directly, you can see how I, I'll talk. To, I'll talk to people tomorrow, and you know, give us a call tomorrow or email us tomorrow. Um, see where it stands. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. Great. Thanks. All right. So we both okay. issue a negative. That works. Right. So, uh, yeah. So we move to issue a negative. Uh, uh, what negative determination? Determination. Yeah. All right. I, I make a motion that we. Uh, that we uh, make a negative determination of applicable on uh, on the Route 44 uh, tree clearing yeah. and resurfacing and resurfacing it for Mass DOT. Okay, I'll second. second that. Moved and seconded to um, issue a negative uh, determination um, for the resurfacing and tree trimming by Mass DOT on Route 44. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Passed unanimously. Thank you. Thank you. You know, these scouts stick around long enough. We can find plenty of projects for them. Yeah. <laughs> plenty of Street that was seven thirty and we're already at quarter to eight. So. Yeah, we got, yeah, we got, yeah. Okay. So um, what do you think, Brooke? Shall we move to seven Wade Street at this point? Yep. Okay. We're ready for that one. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. My name is Michael Lazar. I'm the owner of Seven Wade Street. Uh, He's not going to come. Okay. So we were we were not there today. You know they filed an RDA for a shed. Mm -hmm. It was within about seventy-five feet from the bog. Um, and then we when we went out this afternoon. Um, we saw that there had been other work. You know, some cutting of trees and quite a bit. Yeah. Replacement of the fence and that yeah. sort of thing. So. 
what we s have to decide to do is is um, you know what to do with the RDA and then maybe an after the fact notice of intent for the trees maybe some kind of mitigation for the, the cutting right so what, and you know, that's soil the stabilization yeah. under the fence so stabilize. stabilize that we have to uh, uh, put in some erosion proof over there too because nothing's nothing stationary around that those uh, uh, around that fence yeah, there's, we there's can talk. A you want danger if uh, in heavy rain and so on that that will just yeah, it's gonna will wash out. out. Yeah. So this is why. So we I, I don't know if you notice when they when they replace your fence, there's some fill that's behind the fence, which kind of between. There they brought the, the elevation up. Above. The elevation was brought up. That's all that yeah. was done. Yeah. yeah. But it's got to be the soil's got to be stabilized. Yeah. It's just well, loose dirt at this point. Well, I understand, but that's why all the brush is back there. Yeah. The brush was used as a stabilizer, so it doesn't wash away. Well, that won't work. Um, that might not work. The, you might need planning. You had a few issues back there, sir, with reference to the trees, of course, um, that were cut down back there, within the well within the buffer. Um, there's some nice. I got photographs right here. There were live trees that were cut down. There were uh, because they were in the way of the dead trees, getting to the dead trees. Regardless that of that, you could have you could have again, selectively cleared it, sir. And I understand that, but again, I I. I wasn't involved with that again, well, and I certainly wasn't aware of the fact that I needed special permission to cut down the dead trees. Well, or you, as, trees. you as a homeowner are responsible for your I, property. I'm aware of that. Well, you're a lawyer, so you, I'm sure you are. Um, so I'm not going to say anything you don't already know, but I, I say it for the for the record as well. Um, I, wow. There's. There's the trees that have to be replicated. Uh, that'll be up to the commission to decide what they do. Mr. Chairman, there's one other item I'd like to bring up, if it's all right with you. The pipe? Yeah, yeah that, you've got a, uh, a pipe coming out from the pool. It's a discharge pipe from the pool when the water gets too high? Correct. All right. No, it's, for, it's not when it gets too high. It's a backwash. You can't do that because you're backwashing chemicals into the wetlands. What you're going to have to do there, sir, is you're going to have to put a dry well in on the pool side of the uh, on the pool side of the fence, not on the back side of it, but on the pool side of the fence. Put a dry well in, so when they when they do the wash, it washes into a dry well and holds air. You can't you can't discharge that into open wetlands. Yeah, that's a big boo boo because it's chlorine. I wasn't aware that that was wetlands. That's a there's a cranberry you're bog within, back there. You're within. That's, that's a, yeah. But I it's a cranberry it's a bog to consider wetlands. Yes, I, I thought it was since it was a working cranberry bog, then it wasn't considered wetlands. Oh, it, it is. is definitely. It's an active wetland. Okay. Yeah, it's an active wetlands yeah. for sure. Okay. Okay. So and that's you, just what I was told. Well, there were certain exemptions for 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 agricultural, you know, cranberry bogs, but uh, this has nothing to do with the agricultural. In other words, they're exempt. They're exempt from some work. But they're still wetlands, so they can, yeah. you know. But if it, and like I say, it has to be agricultural, so that's kind of the exemption. But. Right. So provision has to be made to capture that water, and uh, then it probably have to be taken out in a pumper truck or something. It's a. Uh, well, I don't think it. Right. If they if they use a dry well, it, it should hold a backwash pretty yeah. well. Okay. You know, back, back, uh, the dry wells, you get a sufficient, we, we, we need to have that engineer to make sure you have a big enough dry well put in uh, for that, but you don't, I, I don't see why they'd have to have it discharged, sir, okay. uh, mm -hmm. because it, it, should, it should take care of the problem. Remember, what is it, 100 feet of gravel pretty much purifies water? I know they're like 75 feet away, but if it goes in the dry well, it'll be slow discharge. Yeah. I think that's okay. I don't want. I don't want to have him in with a. It was just yeah. sort of bring a pump truck in every time he wants to. And the pipe was kind of sticking out of the soil, like in the air. It wasn't. Mm. No, it, it, shoot, was, it shoots straight up. Yeah. It's all, it's all right anyway. So maybe. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if they were going to fix that. They weren't completed with it. Oh, okay. It kind of like so you'll have to do something there, sir. Um, yeah, there's some real questions still. Yeah. About. Um, and uh, replication of the trees. What do you What do you people want to do about that? Well, are we going to address? So the question is um, for the RDA. 
I mean, you could you could still issue a negative determination for the shed because right, and let them get that done. Yeah, the yeah. gentleman was going to mm -hmm. build the shed. You know, he he did what we told him to do, and yeah. and the shed is up above all this other stuff. Where you yeah. know, so you could do that, and then you could do, and after the fact for whatever's going to happen, you know, behind the fence. This, can we the, do an after the fact line. and get it together for and, him? And right, and maybe get the dot the i, cross the t, and, and yeah. tell him what he have needs. Have to do all of that. Yeah, do it on an NOI. Yeah. All right. Um, and have his yeah. surveyor. We're going to need a topo on that whole thing. Well, and I did notice, Joe, Joe I think I told you Joe Webby had done, um, yes. the engineer had done your right. original site plan. So he's got all the survey information and everything. So he would be He's the a one good wetlands guy, too. He'll yeah. know what yeah, to do. Yeah, he'd be the one to, to get to do your notice of intent for you because he files them all the time. And I don't like because he's got all the information. I'm, I can't imagine it's going to cost him. I wouldn't go anywhere else. Oh, he's he's got got all the, he he won't have to it. come out and do all resurveying and right. everything. So he's a good, you know, you're going to need that for your notice stuff. of intent. Okay, but that can all yeah, be done in time. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, oh, we will do so the do the REDA today. Yes. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, release. And I can, I can, you know, if you if you're going to hire Joe, I can I can talk to him because we've had. He's done a couple after the fact things. Yes. Yeah. Well, sir, I would I would definitely write down the following items. That would be the tree replication, uh, the dry well, uh, the silt fence, uh, and how you're going to stabilize the ground behind. I uh, put that all into your NOI or mm -hmm. your list to Joe Webby, and he'll have to do the work. Uh, the dry well. With, with the dry yeah, well and everything well. else. Okay. <laughs> But it'll have to do all of that. And if there's any trees that are dead within the 100 mm. feet, we yeah. need to go see. We did notice there were a couple of, the, of small ones that were dead that looked like they, you know, that they hadn't been removed. But they were obviously dead. Right. And the, if I'm just didn't there were quite those, unfortunately yeah. quite a quite a few. And there's one large one that's still dead right in that corner. If but that. That is outside. I think that's uh, 100. It's outside. It is outside the 100. Yeah. And it, the weird part is, it's up. right along I'm the fence not, line, I mean, though, yeah. too. So mm -hmm. it's bizarre because it's the way that the bog is set up. It's set up, right. It goes off the other exactly. way. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So but you it's have some far outside the house, that. And I don't know if they qualify. Can't we just move the bog? Who's this anyway? You know, AD Make Peace. Oh, it is Make Peace? Okay. Sir, there is a law, and we'll tell you about it, that you. You're, if if you're if a tree is an endangerment to your house, right? You have a you have the right to have that removed after notification of the conservation commission, so we can come out there and look at it and ensure that that is the issue. Right. And I mean, the, my biggest purpose for being here, and trust me when I tell you, I gave up quite a bit to be here tonight because I had a full schedule already. Um, I want to make sure Mr. Thevenin isn't unduly punished for not being able to do his work specifically because he's the one that did everything because I know the idea of needing to do when you have a new structure that you need to petition the commission but everything else on the property is existing yes uh, everything I mean it and the type of filter even to the type of filter we use we upgraded it it used to be an earth filter this is a cartridge filter which is what would be required <coughs> by the Commission to be used Basically. if it's in that area so I'm actually upgrading everything the cement pad that was there is changed yeah, we've, over seen, to, we've seen what you've done there, right sir, and we, and, we but, don't have any problem with anything outside the hundred feet that anything outside the hundred foot you know, that's between you and the building department. But that, we but don't that's, care about anything. But any that's of that. part of the 100 feet, even yeah, part of that pad. Part when, of you, pad was when you hit 100 feet, even if there's existing behind that 100 feet and you want to replace what's there, we still need us. to be notified. Right. So it doesn't matter if whatever's there. If you stick a shovel or if you touch something within the 100 feet of that wetland, right. conservation is involved. Yeah. Right whether it's there or has been there for 50 years or 100 years, right. we still need well, to. Well, that's, that's unfortunately yeah. because that's what was misconveyed to me. Yeah. yeah. Because I was told well, if it's an we, existing we, foot plan, then you don't need to because, yeah. as they put it, it's grandfathered in. Well, we, we and just to let you know, sir, we, we don't, as a rule, go after the general contractor because we go after the people that own the property or go speak to, I don't mean after, I apologize <laughs> for that, but we, we speak to the people that own the property. It's that property's 
uh, our duty. responsibility to know what know what the laws are and not the general contractors. So that's why we're talking to you tonight. Right. And we appreciate you coming in certainly. Uh, and uh, go to Joe, get a uh, get a notice of intent. We're going to give you an okay on the uh, on the uh, pool on the uh, shed, shed, on the shed, shed. and right. you're good to go. Just right. uh, give us so that. So it's the line. tree replication, the drywall, the silt yeah. fence, and there was one other thing. Stabilization of stabilization that. of the stabilization slope. of the ground of yeah. that. behind the fence. Behind the fence. So would you um, would you accept like say for the trees instead of trees? What's that? Would, would you Except shrubs, how, it would how probably shrubs? be wiser to put shrubs in because there would be less tendency to grow high. Uh, put in like um, uh, blueberries, well, blueberry bush, bushes, yeah, high so. bush and blueberries, they would high land, the slope, and upland. You put them up top. You have blueberries yeah. for your kids to eat. You want you want an upland species, so because that's not going to get where that is. It's that's not right. going to get wet there, so you want so maybe upland species berry. of some type. Mm -hmm. right. Blueberries right. are usually little species. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't necessarily have to be tree live. replication. It's just the use of the shrubs or mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Right, where the, where, the, uh, where the living trees were removed behind the fence has to be... Uh, now, are we going to need that prior to, can we do that now, or do we need to file the notice intent first? That could be right in your, in your notice. Right. That could be all, all part of it. So, I mean, he could, I mean, I can talk to Joe about it. I, I don't think it's going to take him too long. You could begin you know, the I work on it, and then it would just be noted I, in the in right. notice of intent application. Okay. I, I don't have a problem with him doing it, filing the notice of intent, and starting in on that, putting the shrubs right. back there. That's what he's asking to oh, do. Oh, oh, right. What you meant? Oh, I'm, oh, I'm, sure. I'm talking about getting the work done now. Uh, while while just make we do sure this. that you put the uh, yeah, the protection down there, the self yeah. fence. That's all. Right. And of course, I'll make sure that the contractor does the drywall. Have him yeah. pull all. Have him pull because all. Because if he's got it there now, he's gonna do it. Right. Yeah. And he's there. You have him there now working. Yeah. Have him all pull all that stuff that's left down there from cutting the trees down and get that out of there. You know, you, you got a big pile of stuff down there. Yeah, we do. Quite a bit. Yeah. It's basically we're just going to rot. It won't help. Okay, so let's get a, um, <coughs> well, um, a motion to approve a, um, a, uh, a negative determination. Yes, negative determination for the shed uh, location. I'll get that off the air. Uh, I'll make a motion that we have a negative determination. Um, for the shed at 7 Wade Street. I'll second that. Moved and seconded to uh, find a negative determination for the shed at 7 Wade Street. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Pass unanimously. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Do I need to bring something to Greg? No, do we need in to do anything to else with the let him oh, move back in a while? Well, this, uh, uh, I'm no, just going to uh, just uh, not really no. You can just tell him we issued it. He's just fine. Okay. And then oh, what exactly. we do is we um, I don't really have to. We don't usually record those, so I can just I can leave a copy of it out for him, just so he'll be. Okay. You know, I'm sure he'll probably swing by then. He probably will. He's very conscientious. Yes, very much so. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for your you. time. Thank you. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, three, four Park Avenue. Okay. Good evening. Give me a moment to get set Yes, sir. Uh, sure. <laughs> God, it's been years. When when was that walk we went up there? <coughs> for uh, at uh, Park Ave. Yeah. That was we did that when they filed the RDA yeah. for the you know, the little funky little wetland things that yes. really were, you know. The, right, and we were walked around them and yeah. so on. So in the yeah. street. Like four years ago, five years ago? Oh, no. How, how long no, was that? It was, uh, two, I believe it was January of last year. It was, a, it was like the warmest January day I think oh, I yeah. ever was remember. It? It was, um, yeah, but I you probably went out prior to that yeah, with Sarah and stuff. Oh, yeah. There issues yeah. going on yeah. out there. Yeah, when it was Because there was a, that, the, one of the roads in the, up the hill was, um, was full of water because oh, of runoff. That's right. We had to go around it. Yeah. Yeah. And that was all winter run. Bruce is, uh, um, good. Uh, so, good evening. My name is Bruce Haskell with Langdon Environmental, and I'm here for the uh, requested notice of intent uh, to do some site preparation work in the next phase of the uh, project, so the, the overall project that's being uh, implemented up there at 34 Park Avenue in the area. 
Um, this is the next the site preparation of taking care of the old Route 44 or 44 sand and gravel um, operation out there where the tire, all the materials were depleted from the site as you saw during the site walk. Um, and since that time, there's been a lot of um, various activities up there leaving you know leaving some things that need to be remediated if the site's to be developed all the work that we're talking about here is all in um, you know getting ready for the actual implementation of the program that's described in the urban renewal plan that was approved by the board of selectmen and has been approved by the state department of housing and community development mm -hmm. um, this past uh, uh, spring winter fall uh, spring and winter out there so what we're looking to do today is to really take care of and I'll talk about some detail uh, when, as part of this notice of intent is remediate some past site uses uh, particularly there's a old wood waste landfill that's in the middle of the site mm -hmm. and what this is this is figure one one Try to, can't hear me let me know uh, this is figure one one that's in the uh, notice of intent the wood waste landfill is, is almost dead center into the in the middle of the site um, it is basically was meant to be much larger it's actually was originally permitted to be much larger um, but it's about three acres in size. We need to get remove that wood waste landfill because that's where any kind of building or construction would go um, as part of the uh, ultimate development of the site. The second item is, uh, major item is, there's a large wood log pile out in the site. And just, um, you know, the jurisdictional, the wetland delineated areas is approved in the RDA. I'm just gonna say they pretty, I've got better plans, but they pretty much run along the southern site. This is Route 44, Route 58, Montello Street coming in. Mm -hmm. Dunkin' Donuts is always a good um, you know, landmark. Good location. Um, there, but in the, the property here, the yellow is the property owned by Route 44 Development, which essentially is most of the old 44 sand and gravel. There's been some subdivisions off of it. That wood pile was essentially a remnant of a wood recycling mulch mm -hmm. manufacturing yeah, operation him. that was yeah. going on out there. It is about four to five acres of wood, about 15 to 20 feet high, probably at least 100 feet across. Um, out there that needs to be pulled out and removed, um, chipped. That is that wood pile does go down within the buffer zones um, of the wetland resource areas. Those the, the wetland resources on the site that were approved by the commission are essentially um, old ponds associated with the gravel operation that was mm -hmm. going on at the site. Were you in the commission when we had? I remember there was a. That guy that was doing those, the chipping. Now, he was in Plimpton. Now, I kicked him out of Plimpton because <laughs> he was mixing sanitary sewerage with wood chips, as I recall. And he went there to do it. I, I have only read That's newspaper nice. articles, so I, I cannot. <laughs> I can't. It was originally a, a repository for. Uh, uh, sanitary pumping. Has that, yes. been, has that been cleaned up? That oh, so we've done a series of test pits around the site to yeah. try to figure out because there's it's not just that operation. There were a lot of other things going on over time. If you look Sketchy at things, aerial yeah. aerial photos, well, there, first of all, there's a lot of there's some illegal dumping that happened on the site, and we've okay. cleaned up most of that um, out there. And it's a little bit within the buffer zone. We have to take out. We're probably going to find a little bit more uh, once we get into it. Um, but that was, we did test pits in the area where he was operating. And again, we have a lot of aerial photos, a lot of information, and we did not find anything except for a little discolored wood chips out on the site. Yeah, um, don't touch there. them. Yeah, so, it does, <laughs> yeah, so every, everything was removed. Um, the wood pile, I believe, was left by his operation, yeah. um, it appears, and that's the, the, the last remnant of anything that's, that's out there. And again, it's, it's logs, it's stumps, it's just a yeah, it chewed everything of, up a, there. of a mess out there and things. Yeah. Um, so the other thing that we're going to do out here is we need to, yes, you remember the site is fairly low in elevation. Mm -hmm. um, there's a central road that goes through the site. And I'll talk about the plans a little bit. Essentially what we want to do is raise the grade of the site um, to the elevation and make a flat plateau at about a 2% slope so that somebody coming in to build on the property will see that it's not a, you know, that there's actually an area to build on the property and to, uh, to do what happened there. So what's How much you plan on adding for gravel? To build that up. There's about the the planning board. We went to the planning board. They approved about 710,000 cubic yards of of uh, it's a 127 acre site. Oh, that's okay. that's the you know this is the it's 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 really only about an average of six feet, a little less than six feet over the entire site. Right. Um, but it's but if you do you know the over that yeah. vast of an area yeah. um, out there, and again we're not filling we're not filling in the entire 127 acres, but over the average it's about six eight six feet um, per 
um, you know, about six feet over average over the entire site. Um, that poly and I'll talk. I can talk a lot more about the soils that are coming in if you're interested. Um, but that is a policy that D Mass DEP puts out. The owners of the site have an administrative consent order with Mass DEP, which is the essentially the permit process to fill in old sand and gravel pits um, that they've established under a policy called COM 1501. Um, there is a detailed fill management plan for that, and I'll just talk a little bit about that, which requires all site soils that come in are pre-tested. They're approved, reviewed and approved by my firm um, on behalf of the owner. We submit that information to an LSP, licensed site professional, that's employed by the town through the planning board. Um, and he reviews the information and, um, and, and endorses it or con concurs with it um, before we can bring the material in. And some of the times if the material has any kind of question or discrepancy, we're required to go back to MassDEP with a specific question about that. And again, I wanted to point out, a lot of the concentrations that we have to test for are extremely low. So we get lab you know, error, we get things like that. But even with those kinds of things, we have to go back to DEP and say, is this okay if we take this material um, to the site? Um, in addition to that, there's a random confirmatory test taken every month of one load of soil. Um, I take it, it just happens to be when I'm out there to do an inspection, again, with the town's uh, licensed site professional. Um, there's a lot of checks and balances that go into this, the whole soil process out here, and it's a, it's a new process for DEP, but it sort of builds on what they've, they've sort of taken, what they were doing at landfill sites, and they've made it, you know, sort of started to regulate clean soil. These are clean soils out here that are coming into the site that would be all below what the, um, if you're familiar with the MCP, there's reporting requirements levels, concentrations, they're all below the reporting requirements that would be applicable to a residential house um, home out there. So that, you know, these are, are very and very well tested. Um, you know, they can't come from sites that have any site kind of history of spills. I mean, there's a, there's a series of criteria um, that I could regale you with here, but uh, that, that's the, the gist of it there. Um, I want to point out one other last thing. This is really not the final design of this facility. The final design of what goes on out here. This is really intended to be the stormwater, the placement of material, the site preparation. But when the actual development uh, gets selected, there's actually a developer, the project, um, because again, the the why well, the 127 acre is sort of the the keystone property to the urban renewal plan. Mm -hmm. There's a 300 acre urban renewal plan. But the topo is going to change. Oh yeah, the topo will change, and there'll be you know obviously there'll be parking areas and buildings and stormwater and a lot of other things that will come in to to the commission to to, to the details. Water management, all this stuff. Right, right. This is really just to do, to sort of bring this site, the main site up to a level that's uh, that's appropriate so yeah. out there so our project that we're proposing here today is outlined in the uh, notice, notice of intent is really again this is in the same orientation as before the wetlands down here are the ones that were delineated and approved previously by the commission there's some off-site wetlands up in here they're sort of state delineated mm -hmm. and then there's some wetlands over here which are associated with the cranberry bogs moving up towards uh, Montello, mm -hmm. Montello Street out there. Our project is essentially we are going to build, um, put erosion controls in along the wetlands at the locations that are shown. And the, the red line on this plan is a is a 65 foot buffer, town buffer. Green line is the 100 foot buffer. I want to point out there are no proposed permanent impacts to wetlands, you know, out there. All the work is within the buffer zone um, for this project. Mr. Haskell, just one question: the um, oxygen. Uh, Pumping uh, situation that was in place is that all completed? And yes, there's, there's just uh, uh, yeah. To, to answer your question, there was a uh, there's a plume that was coming up, deep groundwater plume from yeah. the Ravenbrook landfill yeah. right. that was crossing this site, and there's a series of um, I should change the, of uh, basically they're pumping oxygen in in three series of wells. Um, those have been that prog program has been closed out under the DEP MCP for the DEP. And I believe they've abandoned all the wells. They're in the process of abandoning all the old, okay. old okay. wells out there. If you remember, yeah, there's lines yeah. of wells. When we went out there, we saw a couple of them yeah. um, out there, a couple series of them out there. Um, this is the final grading plan. I mentioned we were going to put in erosion controls around the edge mm -hmm. um, out here. Um, again, I want to. We're going to put in three stormwater basins. The stormwater basins, for this purpose, because of the, the handling of the soil, are designed to retain the entire 100-year, 24-hour uh, storm, okay? So what, you know, that, that storm, that we're without discharge. Um, an idea there is we just don't want to have any discharge off the site mm -hmm. um, that, that can't be controlled um, there. The, uh, 
but essentially all the filling is going in in the area here. Just, you know, the Park Avenue entrance is here. So when we drove in, this is the area we came in and parked down in here. One other thing we may be ending up doing is a metal garage building out here that's within, that's down in this area. We may end up demolishing that as part of this, a part of this process. But we're installing three basins in the corners of the site um, out there. All the stormwater that's generated from these operations will all be directed to those basins for treatment. There'll be no off-site flow of stormwater um, mm -hmm. from the site through a series of uh, swales that will be constructed, obviously prior to operating in the areas um, that are out there. And, um, and, and, and they're, again, they're designed to hold a 100-year storm. They have check dams in them, the stormwater pollution prevention things. All of this information, again, has been submitted to DEP as part of that soil management um, program um, that we have uh, out there. So the project essentially is to bring the soils in, clean up the wood waste landfill, clean up the stump dump, um, clean up some old debris piles. I think even since you've been out there, there's been a significant um, you know, effort by the owners um, to get rid of a lot of the debris. I mean, there's just pieces of playground equipment and just odd, you know, oddball concrete, which they've all put in one place. And they've taken out roll-off containers of just you know, somebody got in there and just dumps things on the, on the ground out there. So they've really cleaned up the site um, to do that. And you're welcome to, again, we do monthly inspections. They're random. They're not announced to the owners. Um, I bring the town's LSP, and I was bringing the town's planning director um, along on those. But certainly, you know, Brooke yeah, is welcome to come, and I, and, and I can let her know when the next yeah. one is, you which will be early next month, and we can come around and get, and get you and, and like see, see what's going on out there now. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's, that is, that's the project in a, in a nutshell. If there's any questions or anything specific you want me to get talk more about, I can certainly do that. Do we have any abutters uh, for this 3-4 uh, Park Avenue? Yes, um, Jim Cole, um, Mark Cole, and That is correct. We we actually there's a road that runs sort of in between the, along the that the accesses the uh, um, the cell tower along 44. Yep. That that road we use that road as sort of the high point and string and graded down from that to pick up the swale and then came sort of back up there. So there's a very good swale that runs and I can show you on the plan okay. um, out there along that whole sort of side that's in between the two properties there from where the driveway hooks around. Out there. Okay. Now you mentioned uh, that it's going to be protected for. Used to have that number, know that number, but they just they just they just well, increased they just increased them for the very reason you're talking about the numbers. The, yeah, it, it is like six. Log, uh, it is like six or so inches of rain out there. Now, the, when I say the the, the, the basins are size, so if there's a hundred year storm on the design based on the calculations, that all the water that goes to the basins can be held in those basins. Okay, so if there's a little bit more, it would just back up onto the site. Because there's still a there's still a great you know to your property okay. there's still a, a so slope. So back up onto your site. Right. Huh? If we had the Noah flood, it would back up onto onto there onto the onto the 44 site. Okay. It wouldn't spill over okay. um, out there. And I think we we will take you know I mean, again we, we want to take care to make sure that that happens. So when we're out there doing that swale, we'll make sure that we berm up the other side of it to make sure that it stays on on that side that there's no um, unwanted you know no going in that direction. I would definitely uh, like an opportunity to maybe go on that site what you talked about to uh, went into that next one. Yeah. No, I'm certainly, I'm cer I mean, we'll let you know. I mean, again, we can. You can if you want to sign in, and then maybe uh, Bruce can contact you or I can contact you. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah to sign in because we'll take you. Tonight, I'll, okay. I'll sign in. Yeah, because we'll also take you back because we, we don't usually walk because we're not doing over th anything on that side of the site necessarily now, but I'll walk over with you and show you what the thoughts are. We can grab the plans and sure, just, show you just what's. For peace Sure, what's going on. Sure, thank you very much. Yeah, that's, right. that's fine. You came on the other sidewalk too. Didn't you uh, come yes, on the I last did. sidewalk? Yep. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. 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 Sir, I have uh, just one question. I'm, I'm looking at your 
erosion control. I, what type of erosion control are you using? I, I didn't see anything on here. Is it over on that map? It's on the detail, pl detail, the detail sheet. sheet. Yeah, uh, okay. it's, it's so you do have one. I have one, but it, I, don't, I didn't bring them all. Uh, yeah, you, you know what it is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's well, a, a hay bales and so fence. As long as I'm a happy guy. Yeah. Yep. And right. there's a lot of stuff in there. Stormwater, uh, okay. section 6 of the notice of intent is all stormwater yep. stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, in, in the audience with any questions? No? All right. Okay. So, we need to... Uh, no, this is your regular. Do we need to close the hearing on this? Close the hearing issue in order of condition. Right. What type of notice is this? Uh, it'll be a notice of intent. So, okay. we, so the Do we have the conditions. NOI here? Yes. Yeah. You have the NOI here? Okay. <laughs> Want to read it? Okay. You can hang on to that. <laughs> um, <laughs> But let's close the hearing first. Close motion oh, yeah, to close I'm the sorry. That's no, right. And um, I'll make a motion to close the hearing for NOI on Park Ave. Okay, and a second, please. I will second that. Then moved and seconded to close the hearing on 3 4 Park Avenue, DEP SE 126 547. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Pass unanimously. Hearing's now closed. Okay. Thank you very much and have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you. Thank you. So I didn't, put, I didn't put too much for conditions. I put, you know, about the storm noise. Right. Stuff. And yeah, I mean, it's basically no structures and anything like that. So they'll be coming back to us for a lot of yes. Oh, yeah, they're going to be coming back and forth like a yo-yo, for sure. For the next two years, at least, probably. Yeah. Okay. Next one, South Main So, um, we well, just before we sign this, though. we want to just, okay, we want to issue the notice. Did I say on the hearing? We closed. Order? No, we didn't. Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's why I didn't sign it. <laughs> okay. So now we need a motion to uh, issue the uh, notice of intent. I will make a motion that we issue the notice of intent for 3 4 Park Avenue, uh, SC 126 547. Okay. I'll second that. Been moved and seconded to issue a notice of intent for DP SC 126 547, 3 4 Park Avenue. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Pass unanimously. All right. Now I see. I'm looking all over. Here you go, Jim. <laughs> Didn't see it. The letters aren't big enough. <laughs> yeah, South Main Street. What's South Main? South Main. Street. Sure, right Okay. Oh, okay. Now our next item. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you can give this to you. This is just a letter that came about the next hearing. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it just says they don't. Read. You can read that into the record right after, after, you, mm -hmm. after we talk about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sarah. Hearing for uh, 28 South Main Street, uh, DEP SE 126 54, Notice of Intent. That's it? What the hell is this? Oh, yeah. Hi, how are you? Good good you? Right? And you're <laughs> Mr. Higgins? You sign in, please? Yep. How are you? So we looked at this one today. This is for the bridge. Yeah. Do you want to see the plan again? Yeah. I would. Well, we did get a letter from your neighbor. Did you know that? Oops. You got a what? A letter from your neighbor. Which one? It's short. It's short. They said they love us? They said they have no objection. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah.
I guess the questions that we had were uh, the need to have a, a six foot width on it because uh, we felt that four feet would be uh, quite sufficient. Uh, I do need, I have a driving mower that I'd have to mow the grass on that side so it was just so I wouldn't drive off of it and fall into the wetland so that was the only reason for it. Mowing? Mowing, yeah. To take the mower over. To mow the dike? Huh. No, there's the grass in, uh, if you've been down there and you're welcome yeah. to go down at any point. Yeah, no, we went down today. No. Okay, the cranberry bog it's and then on the other side of the cranberry bog there's 30 feet I wide, 100 feet long of grass. The, the, the dike there between, between the, the well the pond? Yes. Oh, the little dike thing. But that's, was it a lot of grass there? I didn't hear you. What was that? Um, he said he wanted the six foot width to drive his, the mower. Right. I got a JD 500, which is one big mower. Yeah. Big sit down job. <laughs> and 36 inches I can cross. Because the deck hangs out, but the mower's only so wide. How wide is your deck? Huh? How it's wide a 52 it? inch deck. And it's a, and the, the wheels are only 36 inches apart. They dangle out. It's a JD 500. That's a big mower. Okay. Well, I but don't know. Only it's up to you guys. The I, other side of the log uh, is I only the little dike here. I agree with mower. four feet. Six huh? feet is too invasive. I would yeah, go we're, four feet. we're concerned That's about it. the effect on the, uh, on the wetland of uh, having too much area screened off. Uh, you know, uh, it would kill the plants. To Isn't that determined by the spacing on your boards? It's not going to be tight. I have to have a three-quarter inch spacing so I have enough sunlight going through. Yeah. So, so I, that allows all the growth and everything. I, well, at least that's we what I'm Well, we were spacing. talking about three-quarter right. inch spacing anyhow. If he does a three-quarter right. inch spacing, the feet, then, the then all he needs to do is replicate the, uh, the, the part that's hit, the footing that's hitting the ground. The spacing on that? That's all you have to replicate. If you're using a three-quarter inch spacing. Right. And the footing hitting the ground was, a, I, I forget if it was a six by six or an eight by eight pad on the bottom of the post. What do you have, 50 square feet or something? No, 15, 14, 15 no, square feet. Of it is what it is. Um, yeah, it doesn't show it. Okay, oh. yeah, he didn't, didn't he, specify. He's using one inch three-quarter inch spacing. I Okay. I think that's mass code on that over wetlands, I, I believe. Is, I think that's, yeah. Yeah. that's why I didn't specify it. I think so it's a code it's, already. So, so yeah. So it, I think six feet's uh, wide. Oh, yeah. It's no, it's going four feet. Four feet. Four feet. And then four feet, three quarter inch spacing. Yeah. And uh, I don't, I'll be honest with you, you know, he's got the replication is absolutely minor. Yeah. It's minor replication here. If he's doing the three-quarter inch spacing, then we don't have to worry about the planting underneath. Right. So the only thing we're worried about are the four by, what do you use, four by four is coming down? It was 40 down? square Steel? feet. Huh? It ended up to be 40 square feet. Which is uh, 40 saying. square feet? Yeah. I think, I thought it was only it's six sections. 40 square feet of alteration. That's what, uh, all right. I think it's, I think it's far less than that. But if Joe put that down, that's, that's what he put down. Put down 40 square feet. You got to replicate 40 square feet if it's on the drawing. That's fine. Okay. I'll just check it. <laughs> uh, do you, and then do, say it you doesn't show where you're doing it though. The replication. I don't. Th they didn't actually propose it. That was something that we brought up. Oh, all right. So they're gonna have to come back with that. Let us know who they want to replicate it to. How? Um, so you could just replicate like a little chunk of the bog into the into your where it's going now. Okay. What is the distance between each of the legs? Ten foot sections. Ten foot sections. That's, so that's eight. Yeah, hundred feet on the. Uh, Ten foot sections again. How many eight, right. eight times two is sixteen the times. No, no, only you meant eleven. So yeah, square. Yeah, it's like sixteen oh, square feet. Yeah, sixteen. That's not much. Uh, yeah, I thought it was like fifteen, but I don't know why. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. It's probably a little less because they're eight by twelve pads, not twelve. Oh, he by 12. wants it. Oh. Yeah, I think there's only seven sections, six or seven sections. It looks like 100 feet, though. Well, it says proposed 80 feet See plus. I okay. I don't know if you yep. may not agree to it. Yeah, it says 80 feet. Right. 
Well, it fits within no, the six feet. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. this is all dry up here. Right, so it's seven at most. Yeah. Yeah. So at most, it's eight. Yeah. It's a tenth of a second. I wouldn't even say so much. I, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't. I'd say four foot width, mm -hmm. three quarter inch spacing, and the replication is like not there. There's like, uh, I don't know, I'm looking at maybe. Like a little corner of the bog. Yeah, like. Know. By the time he does the damage, it's not going to be worth it. You know what I'm saying? So he'll he'll cause more damage than the replication is worth. Right. Is what I'm trying to say. But how about what the, what member was you had mentioned, Sabri, about the 65? Well, I, you know, I'm looking at this drawing again, and I think that this is uh, when was this prepared? This is the same one we saw in March. Uh, it doesn't have the 65 foot indicated it on really the drawing. It ha only has the hundred. And it doesn't have any indication of the cranberry bog that's at the adjacent property. Mm -hmm. So that that hundred foot is incorrect because it does have a, a, a quarter quarter circle. It's supposed to be swinging over this way. It goes this way, and the sixty-five foot should be in there as well uh, because of the of the uh, Shaw bog that's uh, adjacent to this property. Yeah, who did this? The, the wetlands on the neighboring properties have been called into question as far as. Um, the distances from from them. Uh, There's also the the clearing of the whole 65 feet that happened. Well, yeah, but we we can't mark it on here. It doesn't have the 65 foot showing. But the problem being, is that going to be uh, regularly mowed because? It's well, it mowed can't be down. mowed at 65 feet. Well, right. I mean, it has well, that's been. Where I mean, it was today. Be a marker. And, on and you that. think about it, he's not going to need the mower to go across the pond if he can't <laughs> mow it. Hello. <laughs> He wants to mow down a lonely. Yeah, but that's right on a, the the pond. It's within a hundred feet. You can't see that. Yeah. You, you can't cut no your grass. Zone. It's a no yeah. touch zone. Yeah, you well, can't it, do that. So <laughs> you're not going to be able to use a mower back there anyhow. What about a conservation sign marking where where that cutoff is? Where the 65 foot is. I think it was. That's what we're doing mowed, now. Right? Isn't that what you said? Yeah. Well, 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 it's always been mowed. <laughs> Yeah. No. I don't, I don't. Uh, it has never been mowed. Was, I used to go out there up to my knees and stuff. Uh, I don't agree with that at all. Um, okay, so we need the 65 foot put on here to start with. We have to put the 65 foot, and you have to put down no touch. And you, well, you also it's have a town to bylaw 65 foot no touch. Period. It is what it is. The drawing should also include the uh, the. Uh, 65 and 100 away from the bog next door. Yes. Not just what's on, on your property. Um, yeah, you guys lost me. <laughs> well, I guess I missed the web it was supposed to be here, and I, I guess I'll just come back again. The, but the bog yeah. that's in front of Timmy's, I, I can talk to Timmy's Cottage. If you go down your property, on Timmy's the one who wrote the letter and said, Have at it, but no, that's okay. <laughs> but but, but that's okay. Timmy Steve. doesn't write the bylaws. No, I don't say that he does, yeah. but please. Also, please don't tell me that nobody has grass there and it hasn't been mowed because it has been. And I, I just had a guy mow it, so maybe I'm in violation of doing I it. I know wrong. that when I was down there checking it, I don't know when the prior owner owned the property. We went down, we went there, down there. We were walking through grass, we were grass. walking through Ankle grass, right. or whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't know why Webby didn't put the 65 foot. He knows better. Well, and, and it's, it, it's uh, we, have, we have to wait for comments from Natural Heritage because you're in Habitat. Did you know that? Yes. So typically we wait to hear their comments because depending on their comments, we could they we may have to add things to the petition. So usually we'll, we'll continue to hear from Natural Heritage. Okay. But let me, it might... Am I even supposed to come back? You're telling me that I could never, no matter what happens, that grass could never be cut. That's a, that's the town has a 65 foot bylaw that says no touch within 65 feet without a variance. Without a variance. Now you can apply for a variance, but I don't think they're going to give you one for cutting the lawn. We're we're giving you we're gi actually giving you a variance to put the to put the uh, that walkway in. Yes. Because you're not supposed to have that either, because you're within 65 feet of the water. We're, we're, you know, we're conceding that for you, 
but I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, it is what it is. The, the property is what it is. It's a beautiful piece of property, but we do have a 65 foot no touch. You come to my house, you'll find that I live on a lake, and you'll find the same thing. 65 feet is not mowed. I mow right down to the 65 foot line, and that is it. So we'll have to, yeah. We're going to continue this. Probably we've got to get an uh, up to date, corrected map drawn by Webby. And uh, that will. Yeah, give them, that give includes them the wetland outside. spacing from both sides, mm -hmm. uh, the neighboring properties, and then we can begin to look at it better. I think we can work with them a little on this, you know. Yeah. Damn little. It's, uh, it's, it's really sad that he didn't give us any information. Yeah, he has to go for variance on a lot of this stuff. Yeah, that's what we're next door, so that means This is what the line should look like. I got it. Yeah, because yeah, because even if it's on adjacent property, he still has a buffer zone from yep. that. From a neighbor. Which you need the yeah. Feet from, the from any wetlands. The thing about so the, the, the lawn, the, the mowing of the lawn, and there's a lot of people probably that mow within 65. I'm not. I'm not arguing that point, but he can apply for a variance at that point. This is a wetland. I, mean, I think that is. We would go around town and try to give everybody. Okay. Not a well, you saw the back of the night. I should have this, this, too. I don't Because this is all the same bog as this one. Yes, you know what I'm saying, Jim? And mower would have to be on a cable. <laughs> oh, 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 well, no. I think if we do that, you have these, I don't Do you ever know. see those rough cut mowers? You just, yeah. you, hit, you hold on for dear life? Yeah. It goes up yeah. farther away from the right. pond. It's going to be very hard to enforce. Yeah. Because it's, you know. I think everybody yeah. knows what yeah, it is. Yeah, you know, I. It's kind of hard to enforce that. But you can't, Maybe you can't could. come can't come to us because he wants to bring us more across the darn thing. Come on. He <laughs> can't do that. Sure. <laughs> maybe, maybe he... Uh, I've noticed that they have you know, so But maybe, don't maybe we that. could... Um, the mowing should be... Yeah, I know you had more, questions more about than uh, six inches. You know, in other words. No, keep it, keep keep it higher. It, keep yeah. it higher. Because yeah. yeah. that will keep it healthier. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's a thought, too. Yeah. You know, we, But we can do that uh, after he files his notice of intent. Right. But this isn't a notice. Don't need to insult him. I'll let him do his it's job. Like more shrub, oh, no. more that's that's you put more shrubs around the outside of the bog. Or the I, you know, I don't. Okay. It's, it's up to him. But you know, he has to come up. We don't. We can't. I look at sure. this way. Thank I don't you. try to Thank tell them so what to do. They got to tell us what they're doing. So, sir, you can come. But you can come in uh, for variance on the mowing. Uh, and we've got some ideas for that, so. Well, we, uh, okay, the biggest thing, though, is for us now to issue a continuance, okay, because we have to hear from Natural Heritage. Yeah. We mm -hmm. also have to get a corrected map. From yeah, well, he, needs a new, he needs a new topo, for yes. sure. Right. Yeah. Okay, so right. uh, well, let's just right. do a motion for, uh, to continue this hearing. Oh, well, yeah. Now, uh, we don't know when we're going to get this done. We can schedule it for two weeks, or we can schedule it for... Uh, well, uh, so far. Um, well, what's natural? Depends on how. Why should we well, continue? If yeah, we because have I'm not sure about how long natural heritage will take. They tend to take at least a month. We yeah. were figuring we were, were going to be into September. Yes. Well, you also have to remember Joe Webby doesn't sit around waiting for somebody to come in with work. He's a pretty busy guy too, so he's going to need more than a couple of weeks, I think. Okay. So let's figure on a, a month. Well, Joe Webby's a pretty, you, good, pretty busy guy. Yes. I bet if I asked him to be here in two weeks, he'd be here. But I mean, if you got to wait for natural you heritage, you've got to wait for natural well, heritage. Do you, th if he, if you think, do you think he'll have, well, natural heritage, when did, when did they apply for natural, natural when, heritage? When they filed the notice, but they, uh, they sometimes can take a while. Yeah. So what do you want to do when you get the notice? Well, we, so far, we, we, you know, we don't have any meetings scheduled. We, I was sort of figuring the week of Labor Day wouldn't. The, you know, that whole week mm -hmm. we have a meeting. Mm -hmm. So then we would jump to the second week in September, but we, we were trying to stick to the first and the third. third yeah. So if we do that, then it's the 20th. Third week of September? Yeah. Well, that's a month from now? You should have your information from Heritage yeah. by then. Good chance of it, yes. And okay. we'll have the up to date. And Webby should have the drawings. Yeah. We're not going to hold you up on your house. That's quick and right along, I see. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> well, kind of. You can still walk across the park without the bridge. Stop. Well, there's a little path there. <laughs> path. We did. We're yeah. not stopping them from going We walked the across, line. yeah. <laughs> Got a nice little path going there. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, so. That's good. So a motion to uh, continue. Continue to uh, September 20th. September 20th. Yep. Is that all right with you, sir? Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Is that okay with you? Yes. All right. Sir, thank you. Done. Make a motion. Okay, thank yeah. you. Make a motion. All right. I'll make, I'll make a motion that we uh, continue the uh, NOI for 28 Main, Main Street to our next meeting on September 20th. September 20th, 920. I'll second that. Been moved and seconded to continue the uh, hearing on 28 South Main Street, DEP, <coughs> SE 126-54 to <coughs> September 20th. I think that's fair. That's, and hopefully things will be a lot clearer then. Ooh, that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, vote. guys. Oh, thank you. Then we have to vote. Have a great yeah, night. Too. Right. Oh, we so vote. how about? Yeah. Okay. So see, how about we make the money? You laugh or what? Okay, we're gonna. Uh, we're gonna make it. We're gonna mow it below, you know, low as low as like keep it up to sixteen. He just left. It's okay. It's okay. Now, just we're gonna vote on the uh, huh. continuance. We're gonna vote on it. He left before we even voted. <laughs> All right. Because he's pretty sure. <laughs> so, um, okay, it's been it's been moved and seconded to continue. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? <laughs> Pass unanimously. Okay. Amen. All right. All right. Now, next. our next. So, so we're going to do one Day 15, 42. Do you want to yes. read anything? Do you need to read it? Or? Oh, sure. If you, shall I? May I respectfully suggest the agenda as the public hearing on the notice of intent I was gonna and our that. IDA behind it? Could we possibly do the that's IDA That's what I was going to yeah, suggest. Okay. Yeah. Because that's actually part of that. Yeah, and right. Going to, to full street. Time, so we, that's how we do it. But Hold on. I was going to suggest that. Thank you. Okay. First, the okay. First, then so we'll, okay, we'll we're going back the okay. other way. Okay. We'll have the RDA first. And yep. we'll, we'll announce that formally. Okay. Notice the hereby given in accordance with the Mass Wetlands Protection Act, Mass General Laws, Chapter 131, Section 40, and the Carver Wetlands Protection Bylaw that a public hearing will be held at 7.15 p.m. on Wednesday, June 21st, 2017 in Meeting Room 1 <laughs> at the Carver line. Town Hall um, uh, to hear the request for determination of applicability uh, filed by Joe Shanahan, Clean Energy Collective, to determine A, whether an area depicted on plans and or maps referenced in an area subject to jurisdiction of the Wetlands Protection Act, and whether the area and or work depicted on reference plans is subject to the jurisdiction of any municipal wetlands ordinance or bylaw of the town of Carver. The request is for a determination as to the upland designation of six cranberry bogs located on the reference property. The property is located at 42 Fuller Street, Carver, Mass, Map 30, Lot 10B. All interested parties are invited to attend. Copies of all plans, filings, and pertinent documents are available at the Conservation Commission's office. Okay, and you're Mr. Um, Shanahan? Yes, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Uh, for the record, my name is Joe Shanahan. I'm Director of Real Estate and Permitting for Clean Energy Collective. Uh, I gave you a little bit of a uh, summary of our company and what we do and what we're proposing to do at my last appearance. So unless anyone uh, wants to go over that again, I'll spare you of it. Uh, as Thank you may you. remember, uh, when I last appeared before you, uh, we had submitted to you an RDA uh, requesting that you make a determination that the existing six cranberry bogs are in fact upland versus wetland. Uh, we had hired a consultant, Brad Holmes, who was here again this evening, who uh, made a study of that site, submitted a pretty thorough report, and then made an oral report to the commission uh, with the final determination that it is in fact uplands. Mm -hmm. uh, the commission. Uh, as might be expected, uh, went forward with an outside consultant, retained Peter Fletcher to basically review Mr. Holmes' work, go out, look at the site, etc. Uh, while I'd like to think I know what Mr. Fletcher's findings are, I haven't seen or been privy to his report. So I guess at this point, I would defer to the commission uh, as to what Mr. Fletcher found and then proceed accordingly. Okay, so at this point, I believe Mr. Fletcher's here to tell you. Yes, what right. So, if you'd like to uh, step off and uh, let Mr. Fletcher. And I can, I, I can, give you, I can give you a copy of this. I, can give you a I thought you were leaving. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, good. It's good. Let's go. Good evening. My good evening. name is Peter Fletcher. I'm a soil scientist, and I was uh, asked by the town to review this project. 
Uh, I don't know if you've had an opportunity to review my report. Yep. Um, I don't know if we want to just ask questions, if you have questions, or would you like me to go through the whole methodology that I used? Could we have you at least a summary for the people at Yeah, home? you could just hit the highlights. Sure, okay. of actually what I, what I did and all, or how I conducted it. Um, all right, what I did, the first thing was to review reference materials. <coughs> and there are a number of them that I reviewed for this site. One was a USGS topographic map. Mm -hmm. And I should step back just a moment. My, I was asked, or the, the thing, or the purpose of these investigations was to determine if the six cranberry bogs on the site were upland cranberry bogs or wetland cranberry bogs. I might give you, I have three of these. I'll have you look at, if you want to look at these, or you may refer to them. We'll take one right here between us. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Tim. Here's one right here. Here's one right here. Thank you. Tim, can you grab that extra report? Oh, you mean this one right here? Yeah. From the guy who didn't show up, that one? Yeah. All right, just probably before we go into this, I should describe what an upland cranberry bog is. And I'm using the definition by the... Uh, you, uh, the Natural Resources Conservation Service, and I think it's, in, it's consistent with the DEP interpretation as well. And an upland bog, by their definition, is one that was constructed within a former wetland area, and it has a separation between the hydrology within the bog and the underlying hydrology or groundwater table there. So in essence, these cranberry bogs, water is pumped up to them to irrigate them and all. If it isn't managed that way, then the bog would revert to an upland area. Right. And uh, so I reviewed uh, topographic maps prior to the construction of this site. And it shows the area as a woodland area and one that is hilly and all, so and an area of sands and gravel. That was off of the sufficient geology map. I then looked at aerial photogrammetry to determine when this, this whole process or when the bogs were actually uh, or the area converted or constructed into cranberry bogs. And I went back as far as the 1990s and found photography that shows the site, a very light image. You don't have that in the report. I have all of these here. That's in an appendix that I'll send you. And it's a very light color to the imagery, suggesting that it has been stripped of its vegetation. And it looks as though materials have been shifted on the site or graded on the site. There's actually some rectangular shaped features on this that seem to indicate that the cranberry bogs were in, in construction at that time, or beginning instruction. I looked at the 2005, the 2008 or 9, and the 2014 to 16, 2016, and those all showed cultivated cranberry bogs and the bogs uh, in, in cranberry growth and all. Again, I looked at the surficial geology map. This looks at the geology of the site and tells you whether it's a compact glacial till, sands and gravel, silts and clays, floodplain materials, things like that. This is a large area or part of a large area of sands and gravels, very permeable sediments. I looked at the DEP wetlands map, the one prior to the construction of the cranberry bogs. That showed the site as an upland area. I looked at the 1969 uh, USDA soil survey map for the area. Mm -hmm. It also delineated it as an area of sands and gravels and one that is excessively drained with water tables typically greater than six feet. 
I looked at the updated Natural Resources Conservation Soil Survey Report. There it mapped it as a Tihonan soil or soil series. That's on your drawing there. If you look at the drawing, you can see the Tihonan. You can see in that situation there where gravels or the, the natural landscape material has been removed and they've taken it all the way down to the groundwater table and constructed a cranberry bog there. Mm -hmm. So it's constructed within the cranberry bog. Um, my investigations or on-site investi investigations do not support that. So um, next phase was actually going out to the site. I met with Brooke and uh, Jim attended part of this, uh, walked the site, walked the six cranberry bogs, uh, looked at a bit of the hydrology there, showed that the bogs were connected through water control structures between one another, also verified that the bogs were connected to a large irrigation pond to the west of the site. Uh, also showed that there was a water control structure from existing bogs to the west of the site that had a water control structure that uh, had a culvert that emptied into the reservoir. Mm -hmm. And that was on another piece of property. I didn't feel comfortable in going any further than that, but the topographic, USGS topographic map for that area appears to show a, a connection there with that bog system to the Fuller Street Pond mm -hmm. as well as some wetlands to the south, but I haven't verified that in the field. And aerial photo imagery seem to indicate that as well. Uh, for my on-site soil investigations, there are six cranberry bogs at the site. I dug test pits two test pits in each of the cranberry bogs. I dug them, one at the eastern edge, one at the western edge in the center. Um, nine of the 12 cranberry bog or test pits that I dug, well, they all verified the construction of the bog. In none of my test pits did I see a buried natural soil. So that eliminates um, natural wetland soils being buried beneath it, or a nat natural wetland area. I um, verified that the bog construction seemed to be that they graded the area, removed sands and gravels from the site, graded the area, first placed a layer of fine sediments, in this case a silt loam material, high in silt, mm -hmm as well as a sandy loam material. It appears that it was compacted, possibly just with equipment running across it when they were grading the area. And then a layer of coarse sand was put on top of that. And this was the growing medium for the cranberry bogs themselves, or the cranberry vines themselves. This sandy layer, I believe, varied in thickness from about nine inches down to 20 something inches. So it varied just a bit there. The idea of the construction here is that you have that compact, fine textured layer beneath the coarse sands. You can irrigate the cranberry bogs that will perch water on top of it and not allowing the water to flow through into the underlying sands and gravels. Uh, what I did notice in nine of the 12 holes is that there were no indicators within the soil, within the coarse sand layer, that indicated prolonged periods of soil, of soil saturation and reduction. When you have a water table within a soil for a significant period of time, you do get a, a blotchy pattern of yellows, oranges, and grays, uh, referred to as redoxymorphic features. I did not see this in nine of the soil test pits I looked at. In bog, um, well, I numbered the bogs going from north to south. So in the fifth bog uh, in that series there, I did see 
uh, see redoxymorphic features within the two test pits that I dug there. And I did see redoxymorphic features or those wetland features in the lower bog, number mm. six. I saw in only one bog at the time I was doing my testing, and water tables are typically low at this time, only in one bog, and that was on bog five, I believe, that I did observe some water within my test pit, showing that water was perching on top of that. Um, my, to verify this, it seems like all of the bogs are at a similar elevation at mm -hmm. the site. They may be graded just slightly to allow water flow from one bog to mm -hmm. another uh, to economize on the map or on the water use and things. But what I did do was then in one area, and this was uh, on the edge of bog number four in the middle of the series of bogs, and again, they're mostly uh, they're nearly level throughout. Mm -hmm. I used a rock bar and I was able to break through that compact layer and then auger down into the natural sediments that underlie the cranberry box. And what I found there were stratified sands and gravels, which I had anticipated, and I documented a water table at 52 inches. And that was 52 inches below the surface of bog number four. Mm -hmm. I looked in the reservoir there, water table, or water level is down in the reservoir, but there are some rust stains on rocks and on the shoreline. I used that as a gauge for where it might be in a wet season of the year. Mm -hmm. And it looked reasonable that the water table, the regional water table in the underlying sands and gravels did not come up to the bog surface itself and was below this. This seemed to be consistent with the bog owner who came out and talked with us uh, for a brief period there. So I delineated these not as the Tyhonan series that are shown on the Natural Resources Conservation Service updated soils map, but I map these as the epiaquins, which is a weird name. But uh, this is the one that is truly an upland bog. Mm -hmm. okay. Delete this one. Are good? Um, any questions on that? Mm -hmm. okay. And I base most of that on not seeing any redoxymorphic features within that coarse sand. I mean, these bogs are. I would guesstimate by the number of sandings that they have. It's about evidence about five bog sandings there. I think of those as between three and five years apart. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the bog should be somewhere in the line of 15 to yeah. 20 years uh, in operation. Great, we're fine. <laughs> Learned a lot tonight. <laughs> It's up, long, that's for sure. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Thank you very much, okay. sir. My pleasure. Good Appreciate job. that. Nice working yeah. with it. Nice job. Should I sign in on this? Or yes. 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 Okay. Take this off to the side. What do you think, Brett? <laughs> it's wetlands. <laughs> oh, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I'm convinced that my money was well spent anyway. <laughs> Gosh, I would think so. <laughs> and Mr. Holmes feels good too. I'll pass these around. So, uh, did we did you read the one for this one? Did you read the hearing? Uh, I yes. haven't read the second. So we'll no. go to the second one now. Right? Yeah, okay. Right. Number two. How many did you have to this? I got Notice is hereby given in accordance with the Mass Wetlands Protection Act, Mass General Laws, Chapter 131, Section 40, and the Carver Wetlands Protection Bylaw that a public hearing will be held at 8.15 p.m. on Wednesday, August 16th, 2017 in Meeting Room 1 at the Carver Town Hall to hear the notice of intent for the proposed construction of 2.4 megawatt ground-mounted solar farm located on the existing cranberry bogs uh, of the property. A portion of the proposed work is located within the 100-foot buffer zone and the 65-foot buffer zone to Fuller Street Pond 
and associated bordering vegetated wetlands and existing cranberry box on the property and will require variance from the Carver Wetlands Protection Bylaw and the entire project falls within priority and estimated habitat for rare wildlife species as mapped by the Mass National Heritage and Endangered Species Program. The program is located at 42 Fuller Street, Carver Mass, Map 40, Lot 1, and uh, 10B, Carver Mass. All interested parties are invited to attend. Copies of all plans, filings, and pertinent documents are available at the Conservation Commission office. So, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, again, Joe Shanahan for Clean Energy Collective. As is clear from the uh, public notice, uh, we're here this evening seeking an order of conditions in order to develop a two megawatt uh, ground mounted solar facility at 42 Fuller Road here in Chumsford, uh, Chumsford Carver. Pardon me. That's my hometown. <laughs> you know, right town, yeah. Here it's we go. okay. <laughs> Properties owned by uh, Carver Middlebury uh, Cranberry Company. John Norrie and his son Ian Norrie. Uh, site consists of about 54 acres of land. Uh, there are, as we heard earlier, six uh, operating bogs on the site uh, because of the economics, like so many cranberry bogs, because of the economics, the Norries have decided to pursue a different avenue. Uh, my company has done a ground mounted facility on the Norries property over in Plimpton, so uh, we work well with them. Uh, of that 54 acres, we're really developing a little over 10 acres of the site with regard to the fencing and the arrays. Uh, as you're aware, under your local rules, uh, a 10 to 20 acre facility such as this can only have 50% uh, coverage. We're significantly below that at about 18% coverage. Uh, we're uh, doing no disturbance within the 65 foot buffer not even grass cutting. Um, <laughs> so uh, no more. <laughs> we, we have uh, about 283 solar arrays that are going in there. Only 18 of them will actually be located within the 100 foot buffer. So it's a very low impact uh, project uh, as I promised you it would be. It's obviously a very passive use in terms of traffic and noise and lighting, et cetera. Uh, but uh, the technicalities of it are better described by, by a consulting engineer, uh, Griffin Bodoin from Atlantic Design Engineers. And with your permission, I'd like to introduce him at this time, Mr. Chairman. Can I interrupt for just one second? I'm sorry to go off oh, the okay. line, but we never did vote on the RDA. Can we do that after, technically, or yeah, can we, we have to on vote on it be yeah, we, before yes, we go into I this? I think we need to close that. out. I think we have to close out the RDA. The RDA okay. before we start yeah. this. I'm so sorry. Okay. No problem. Yeah, this is my fault. I yeah. realized it. Yep. Okay. All right. So we need to right, vote so for a negative determination yeah. on yeah, or, or <laughs> determination that these are off the law. Okay. All right. Yeah. So. Um, do we a motion to close? I will make a motion that we uh, that we uh, have a negative determination uh, at 42 Fuller Street. Okay. Do we have I'll to second that. On the RDA, close, close the on the RDA, hearing. close it. Yeah. Okay. Close the hearing first, then vote. Right. Okay. Move move to close the hearing on 42 Fuller Street RDA. All right. I'll move to close the hearing <laughs> on 42 Fuller Street RDA. <laughs> okay. Layers. Been moved and seconded to close the hearing on 42 Fuller Street RDA. Um, oh. Okay, uh, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? That's passed unanimously. Okay. okay. Now I make a motion that we uh, uh, that we give a negative determination uh, on uh, 42 Fuller Street. Now I'll second that. To move, it's been moved and seconded to issue a negative determination on 42 Fuller Street um, for the RTA. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That also is unanimous. Okay. Okay. Hang on a sec. Let me just sign. Here you go. All right. No problem. That's the only thing Mr. Fletcher didn't do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Please. That having been done, Mr. Chairman, if I may introduce yes, Mr. Bodley. Again, I'm uh, Griffin Bowden from Atlantic Design Engineers. Um, Joe honestly really made my, my job pretty easy. He went through the, a good description of the project. I'm just going to touch on a couple more points um, that I wanted to stress. Uh, access to the project is going to be off Fuller Street via an existing partially paved and partially dirt road, which is access to the cranberry bogs. Um, the, the access road goes directly adjacent to an existing BVW, uh, bordering vegetated wetland to Fuller, Fuller Street Pond. Mm -hmm. um, the majority of the work that's being done within the resource areas, uh, or the buffers to the resource areas, is along this roadway, and it's just to get utility poles in to get the power out to the streets. Um, there is, as Joe said, there is uh, about 18 of the solar panel racks, we call them, uh, which is a group of 35 of the panels, um, is within the 100 foot buffer. There's none that are going to be within the 65, but there is a portion of the fenced in area, the security fence that will be within the 65 foot buffer. Um, I believe it was, you know, a tenth of an acre or so of the solar development that will be within it, but there's really nothing being done in there. It's just a fence that's going around. Um, in for security purposes. Uh, the access continues along existing cranberry bog roads. We're going to be, um, you know, shoring up an area of the existing bog road and then building uh, a little parking area, uh, parking and staging area, which will have the transformers as well. Um, I just believe there's only one transformer necessary, but right. there's a couple of equipment boxes and everything that will be going in there. Um, we're going to be providing. This is a, a blow up of the access road in. It's a little bit difficult to see, but um, this first couple hundred feet of the access is paved um, under existing conditions. Right where the dirt road starts, we're gonna be installing that stabilized construction entrance uh, to help get rid of any sediment that's from construction. And we're going to just, you know, be following the existing dirt road, not making any upgrades to it for the project because it's very stable um, and Along this area, there's some there's about seven utility poles that are going to be installed. Every one of them will have some an erosion control, uh, probably straw wattles, um, just down gradient uh, to protect the wetland. Um, and there are some areas along uh, the the construction road that we have um, we've we've shown some erosion control as well, uh, just in uh, just to be safe. Um, going through a zoom in. Of the actual solar field. This plan shows the northern portion of the solar field that just, that's adjacent to Fuller, uh, Fuller Street Pond. Uh, the green being the 100 foot buffer and the red being the 65 foot buffer. Uh, the nearest panel is you know a tenth of a foot away from this from being at 60 65.1 feet um, from the wetland but um, it's the whole solar array is contained within the within this cranberry box. Um, there's a, actually an existing dirt road that runs adjacent to the cranberry bogs that nothing north of that is being touched just to the south of that dirt road we're installing a chain link fence that's going to basically close off the site. Um, these, the solar panels are mounted on what's a racking system that's secured basically with a four inch ground screw. That's the only disturbance really to the bogs aside from walking along the bogs and uh, you know getting to them during construction but there's basically no impervious area that's a result of the installation of the, of the solar panels. So as a result, there's really no runoff that's been generated because of the solar panels. And so what we did um, to provide erosion control uh, and potential uh, sediment uh, control is we installed check dams along the existing uh, ditches in the, inside the cranberry mm -hmm. box, just, in, just to be safe. Um, there's not going to be very much sediment that's generated, but we felt we should do something to protect um, to protect against uh, sediment. Um, all these bogs, they all drain over to an irrigation pond, which is you know water's pumped up in the irrigation pond to serve the, to serve the bogs. It also drains that way, so it doesn't even drain to the wetland. Uh, we're just within the hundred feet of it, so we filed. Um, nothing that we're doing is is going to even be draining to the wetland. So. Um, Unless there's any questions, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. The I don't have any questions about this. Um. I wanted to mention um, when uh, you 
DEP issued the file number. Uh, she mentioned that there was no, you know, stormwater mm -hmm. plan. Yep. So I looked at your stuff, and and it sounded to me from what you said that you didn't need to go through the whole. Correct. So then she called me. Yep. And said, well, well they, because I think I emailed her and I said the notice said that they that they didn't think stormwater measures were necessary, and then so she called me and said that she thought they were. So I don't know if they uh, if she's going to do anything or so okay. uh, so maybe you might want to talk to her, the girl who issued the file number. Can you um, assume? Okay. Can, yeah. Can you send me your contact information? So yeah, I will. Okay. Because her name is her name is she issued the number, but she had the comments at the bottom that said okay. she wanted some stormwater stuff. So maybe she, I may have not seen that then. Yeah. So maybe we should just talk to her and explain to her because I didn't. I. I'm yeah. Not I mean, sure. really, it's everything's already disturbed. Yeah. Um, all the stormwater is going to the same place. Right. There's yes. no excess stormwater being yeah. generated. Yeah. Um, we felt it would be more disturbing yeah. to install a stormwater right. management system for the site. Because so. we had the solar one, the one on High Street, the solar circle. Yeah. And we issued an order of conditions, and DP intervened and said, oh, you need stormwater measures. Mm -hmm. So they came, went to the site, and said, oh, it's a sand and gravel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you don't. Yeah, exactly. And then they, so they gave it back to us. So we tried to, uh, in our notice of intent application, which I know you, you, yeah. you looked at, but I just want to point out, we tried to put a little asterisk on the stormwater right. report that said, we really don't feel this applies. Well, it, we can't say it doesn't apply, right. but it really doesn't apply. That's but said, technically, so by the law yeah. of the land, it, it kind of does, but right. we don't feel they're really yeah. necessary. So, so we filled out the checklist, but yeah. we basically didn't right. put anything down. Right, and that's what I said to her. You yeah. know, so she, so maybe, all right, so I'll give you her. That'd contact. be great. Okay. Thank I you. Right DP is is somehow it just not quite settled with the idea right. of putting uh, uh, panels on bogs and uh, that one that we have ex in existence yeah. now. It's probably That's five and a half years now. So, uh, it took four and a half years to get that through. Uh, they they proved it within at the end of the first year, but then it went through the um, problems of. Uh, Borrego first dropping it, and then somebody else taking over. And then Borrego, a different section, Borrego came back, and uh, it was uh, a challenge. But it's it, yeah. now it's a it's a real um, sort of a showpiece. Mm -hmm. But uh, they still are having questions about it. Yeah, like I said, it, I mean, in our opinion, it would be more disturbing to yeah. install you know right. a stormwater management system yeah. for the project. So yeah. we basically installed extra erosion control uh, devices. Yeah. And went with it that way. Um, so maybe you explain that to her. Should they they that. maybe are going to have to send somebody out yeah. to look at it and realize that uh, yeah. it's <laughs> yeah. short of being in the Sahara <laughs> Desert. Well, you're not going to need still. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you her contact stuff. Thanks, Brooke. Yeah. Yeah. I have. A, uh, when was this? Can I ask when this aerial was taken? This aerial. Um, I actually have another one that's a little bit more zoomed in. My understanding is it should have been 2015 or 2016. Um, it's from Google Earth. Is that a Google one or is it? It's from Google Earth. Uh -huh. Well, the question I have for you, uh, over by the Fuller Pond, uh, Fuller Street Pond, mm -hmm. do those trees still exist over there? Yeah. No, back, 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 back. Up right along the, right the road. There. Yes. Right those, along there. No. Right along here. Right right here. Yeah. Right there. Those, those trees exist. exist. Yes. Yes, yes they, they do. do. Along yeah. the line, they do. Uh, yeah. I've driven that area a couple times and never really noticed it being bare. Yeah, no, okay. um, yeah you can't yeah. see them. Yeah. 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 You can't really see that the water. Was, that's what I was getting right. at. Yeah. Okay, good. And that's there's right. no connect. There's no connection that we could find between the bogs and Fuller Street Pond. Do you remember when we visited this site? And then we came up, we had a meeting, I think, right after that. And a lady came in that was concerned about visibility from oh, the road. Yeah. Do you remember that? I remember that. This and one? she wanted yeah. us to put buffer trees up. Well, she wanted to make sure that there were bumper trees up there so she didn't, I, I can understand her thing. Believe, do you remember I that? Yeah, so. I do. Oh, I, I don't remember yeah. it. Do we have any, do we have any neighbors huh? or anybody? I don't remember that. Oh, okay, yeah. anyway, these are the people? I think we have. Am I right? I don't, I don't know about the yeah, trees. It wasn't us. It wasn't us. We just, this is the first I've heard of this whole project when I got a letter. I'm your immediate um, neighbor. Okay. Well, and don't be bashful. Come on up. You, can you, so when, when are you going to her? Let's wait till you ask, she, ask for comments. Yeah. Well, that's, well, let's, let's. If oh. you could sign in, too. You have to sign in. Oh, yeah. We'll get, did I do that? I'll bring it over for you. Oh, it is what it is. Do you have any concerns? <laughs> A list of concerns. Yeah. Okay. 
How many volumes? Uh, just that. <laughs> Did you get to see the um, the map? No. Have you seen the project? No, but I just yeah, it oh. yeah. Had you come in and looked at the file before? Uh, no, I don't, I don't well, think you can come in. Here, no, because no, you certainly can. Down. I mean, you could have. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. Yeah, we're not going to think about these. This is probably the best one. Just ask before we leave if we can get a copy of that. Also. Yes, yes. So I, I don't anticipate the commission will be voting tonight right. anyway. Um, What's that? A copy? Oh, a these, copy these, uh, they desired to. Uh, a copy of this. Yeah. Questionnaire or whatever. Okay, it's the desired conditions from the uh, by the neighbors. Um, I, I'll tell you, uh, some of these things are uh, quite uh, convenient and, and easy, but uh, some things are. Or more than we really have the authority to do. Right generally, now, right now, um, when I received this, it was I had no idea this was going on. Yeah. And, um, you know, their immediate neighbor, and we've had um, a lot of construction going on on Fuller Street with the Johnson Fogs doing a lot of construction. Yes. I've been working with um, Mr. John Garrison and so forth. A lot of disturbances. We have 50 trucks tractor trailers going out on that road that you're talking about daily. That road is a dirt road which sends the dirt right over to my property, fills my pool, fills the fills everything. Our windows get stuck on our cars because there's so much sand coming from the roads. The yeah, windows are actually damaged on the cars. But the tractor trailers we're working right now with John trying to get them to slow down on that road. There's a lot of kids, a lot of kids. Those tractor trails barrel ass down those roads and there's no way they could stop on a dime if a kid ran out. So right now we're trying to get um, signs, 20, 20 miles an hour signs. Well, you have to right. the police department in. Yeah, well, John's department. working on that now and I'm gonna be meeting with Mr. Johnson again, the cranberry uh, owner behind me. Right, I'm very familiar with Mr. Garrison's uh, Rulings. I'm on the commission with them, the Earth Removal Commission, yeah. that supervises what Johnson is doing down there. Yeah, and I mean, it's so been really hard because um, we've had rock tumblers, and I haven't been able to go out in my yard at all for the whole summer. It's right. just unbearable, the drilling and everything. We're trying to get through it with Mr. Johnson, and, you know, I hate to complain, but, you know, yeah. we yeah. live there, too. I'm a taxpayer, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Can I add, just makes me want to ask a question. I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, probably three months max. Okay. I just want to know because I can hear. Our goal is to do it in six weeks, but depending on when the when the permitting is completed, if we have to get into the winter, it takes twice and as long to do it. Done. Thing. It's a minimum of going in just for maintenance. You're cool. never even there. Once the project's done, yeah, there, there'll absolutely. be vehicles there three times a year. That'll yeah, be it. They drive in, cut the lawn. Solar panels. No, I just want to know another project coming in. Another project coming yeah. in, and it's really, um, really upsetting to all the neighbors the, the sand and the yeah. tractor trailers. And you know, we don't even know how much equipment this would, you know, entail what for you guys so to once come they in. come in and drop the material, though, they leave it on site, right? It's that's, not a continuation that's correct. of stuff coming It's in. basically so a delivery, the trucks leave and they don't come back, right? right. Okay. And I do want to mention that. There's going to be, you know, there's going to be a planning board meeting for this, mm -hmm. which you should attend. I think it's going to be on the 12th. Correct. The 12th? Yeah. So, you know, they, they listen to those kind of concerns through traffic and things like that. So you, you should, you know, go to that because that's another, you know, exactly. 
Can, so, but like I say, this is the can I can I ask you to point out where your house is on this? That's what I was going to ask too. Yeah. Come on, just just give me a favor and just point this out to me because I. Don't worry, beer doesn't eat much. Okay. <laughs> where, where, where do okay. you? This is Linda's house here. Okay. And this is mine. Okay, so, but now I'm looking. See, they're over here, right? Right, but the, your problem seems to be. I'm looking at that. Your currently, problem, right? Right. Well, but this is just going to add to that. But that we're also worried about the line of sight too. Well. They say they have shrubbery oh, through here and so forth, but yeah, you'll be driving. Right. But, but this, and I could see your problem is oh, yeah, right here, here but that's, that has nothing to do with it. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to, just trying to clarify see, here. You see the actual so, so We're not there here. This is the road that comes in here? Yeah. It's just already thought of that because they have a bit of 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 a well, so we're looking to good maybe part. have something done with this section of the road here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you get, that yeah. won't be up to that's up to get DPW. Right okay, we, yeah. you have to understand we're wetlands. That's a private right? road. We have that's no a, power that's a private that. road. I yeah. believe it belongs yeah, to the owner of 42 Yeah, Fuller but we Street. don't we don't have any control over that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, now, if you take a look at this, he's going to build this in three months, and after that, this road will be very rarely used. Mm -hmm. Okay, three your issue is over on this other guy's property. We, he, this gentleman doesn't have any control over that. Who either. owns this right here? I don't know. Oh, probably this little piece here mm -hmm. is probably these gentlemen. I mean, it's it's part of their layout mm -hmm. of that lot. Wait, but, but that's another dumping area. Yeah, they dump There's all kinds of well, tires. It's a lot of illegal right activity there. What, what, what property well, asking about? Well, see, what they, they live here and here. Security yeah. lighting is this seems to be their area, which is outside of this. Yeah, this is this was recently taken over by Mr. Johnson. He's trying to. Clean that up There's and turn really it into an equipment building. We don't don't have a light there either. But these we 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 have to concentrate on what these gentlemen right. here. Yeah. Right, but they're going to be coming through here. This is part of the concern right here. Yeah. This this corner right That's next right. to Linda's house. Yeah. This, but. There's nothing we can do with that. I mean, you have to go to the DP. To, I mean, we, we have no control public, over that. Yeah, but but we private. still don't have any control yeah, over no, that. It's private. What we can do is ask them, and actually, um, I thought some part of that was paved, but it it's may have... It's paved right to here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. it's, on the, it's on the other on yeah. the other maps. It shows how far yeah. it's paved. But uh, we could ask them to pave more of this, or at least that's put in more gravel right. there so right. there'd be less right now it's just dust. dust. Right. Yeah. It's just dust. Just right. cut the dust down. But, it's, it's never but, watered, the, but I can see that big issue is over here. Well, the other thing you know, is we could ask them to uh, get a watering truck and spray it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> it doesn't uh, uh, Now that Mr. Johnson yeah. owns it, he's, he's, he's much more receptive to... Yeah, I'm meeting with him um, this coming up. No yeah, because I mean, they're going to be in here for three weeks or six weeks and then they're gone. He's now... He he is. Uh, would Mike want us to right, do that? Would Mr. Johnson be watering this property, which doesn't belong to him? No, no it, it's his entry. It's his, it's, 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 it's a common entryway for mm -hmm. him I think and for Nori. It's more of a planning board issue. Well, well, I think there's water and we can work this out it's with these shadows. There's a mobile right end planning, but yeah. Yeah. this, uh, see, uh, there's also bogs down in here that Mr. Nori operates. This road goes down to mm -hmm. them, and so he has to have access to that as well. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, those are more productive conventional blocks. All this we're asking for is consideration from the neighbors. I definitely, yeah, definitely. We've been asking for you, you will get, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, you had to deal with Mr. Williams as your neighbor for a long time. Yeah, that was it seems to me that it is. I don't and, and his lunatic... Uh, it's, not, it's not a public way. But each adjoining landowner has the right to pass and repass over. He had, uh, he had Wayne Vaughn working for him. He's the guy who excavated, you know, around the power poles so they looked like they were sitting on top of you pyramids. Know, Jim's yeah. a chairman, so he'll yeah. be able to talk to these gentlemen uh, when we sit yeah. back down and talk to them about yeah. this. Okay. And we'll get a face. Van, Van has been much more done. receptive to yeah. uh, yeah. like a cleanup of that area, too, yeah. with the illegal dumped materials. Illegal. I'm sure these gentlemen want to cooperate with the neighbors okay. anyhow. So right. I'm, I'm okay. Not. Well, that, yeah, that, that should not be their problem. It should be uh, Johnson's, uh, Johnson and Nori's question, because uh -huh. that's their joint access and they, if it gets if it's uh, being dumped on they should clean it up yeah. Yeah. but it is Nori's land well we so can we can ask these guys so we can ask these guys to clean the refrigerator and stuff no no they, no, no, no it's, it's, it's the landowners yeah. not well they're they're just putting the solar system in yeah. Nori and, and Johnson are the landowners that are going to be using this forever 
Fort Box and so on and so forth. So they're not part of this meeting? Uh, you know, they will be informed about this, but they, they know that this is... I mean, we can send them a letter. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Inori knows what's going on. His son was there during the Peter Fletcher's uh, thing. And, uh, we, can, we can send him a so letter. Just, 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 yeah, saying that we... <laughs> yeah, you can go. You're, you're, you're yeah. done. Yeah. 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 Okay. That should help you out. Okay. Right. And we are working on the royal to try and, and get it uh, slowed down a little bit. Yeah, Mr. Garrison uh, should be able to uh, require that their markings for trucks. Right. They we have do have some somewhat. We want to start yeah. 20 miles an hour up the street because right. they're coming so fast. Down yeah, here. Well, it should be right up by the dentist's office. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So. Okay. So we're going to. We're going to what? Miles is continuing at exit here. I know the cranberry people across the road are also doing egg. We want to wait till the planning board? The cranberry growers are trying to survive, and so someone's in the gravel. But they. That's what he said. But you want to live, too. Oh, it is now. Okay. So you want to put this as September 20th? Maybe. We know it's going to planning board. We'd like to get Mr. Garrison can have the meeting. So you want to wait till what, September 20th? Yeah, we'll play Yeah, but if you don't have anything to bring them in. Their meetings are usually downstairs. I agree. The 20th is fine. Yeah, 20th is okay. 30th. It's going to be. Okay. Thank you. Would they be the ones who decide on the hours of the truck traffic? That's the school bus? Yep. Is yes. Wood? Yep. Yeah. No, no, uh, that's well, it would probably be earth removal because they're the ones that oh, do that okay. as far as going. Right. Planning board would kind of accept their lead on it. but oh, okay. I think the town has a bylaw yeah. with reference to hours of of work with uh, commercial vehicles. I think it's seven to four. Seven yeah. to four. Yeah. So they, they can't start before seven in the morning. They have to shut everything down by four. Yeah. And if they're, um, there are certain periods when there's school bus activity on the street, they that would be a no truck yeah. time, like a half an hour or an hour. Mm -hmm. that they, well, so you definitely, if you're worried about the speed over there, you should be talking to the police yes, department does. to get that straightened out. Yeah, yeah. They're supposed to be monitoring the speed. Yeah, well, go right to the horse's mouth again. Here the state Squeak the wheel gets the grease. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. Because someone's going to get hurt, and then yeah. they're going to get sued. Squeaky wheel gets the grease. I live right down the road on Old Main Street, you know, that, that loop that goes off of 50 eggs. Yeah, and there's a 25 mile an hour speed limit on it. And people that live on that street are going 50 miles an hour on it. <laughs> they want to get home. <laughs> get out I'm thinking about buying my own speed gadget. <laughs> Jim's the sheriff. The big sheriff. sign sheriff. that tells yeah. you how fast you're going? That's right, with a big light, lit up dial. Sheriff Jim Noah. Uh, I, I have one question. What uh, What is uh, going to become of the um, bogs underneath the array? We're just going to let it wither? We're going to let them go, go dormant, yes. Yeah. All right. Because they, uh, without irrigation, and right. uh, so they'll, or, they'll die. It'll yep. go back to we'll go to seed, right. yeah. I mean, they will be harvested this September, but that right. will be the end. But at some point, will they not um, produce? Produce trees and shrubs and things like that at some point. Oh, we'll keep that cut back. Okay. I, I, these are so they're so barren. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Can I can I ask a question? Of Maybe, course. Uh, during your construction of this, is it possible for you to uh, uh, put a bring a water truck through in there just to keep the dust down because it gets real thick over there, just to you know to appease the neighbors a little oh. bit. Could you do that? No problem at all. Yeah. All right. So we'll put a water truck through. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I like that. doing the water truck for Mr. Johnson. It stir up well, all his dust, but yeah. I, I I'll happily do it. <laughs> he's, he's a good. He's a good yeah. guy. Once you get to know him a little, uh, he's been very productive, and <laughs> he's he's a m much of an improvement over his old man. Oh, as, as I indicated to the commission when I was here last, we've, I've done 31 of these projects in Massachusetts in the last 18 months. We've not had any problem with neighbors. We'll work with you. Yeah. And I, I apologize when you say this is the first we've heard of it, right. but you have to understand the way the 
process works, we file an application and then the notices go out to you. You're given this opportunity to be heard. As Brooke said, you be given the same opportunity at the planning board also. We just looked at it. Well, the only thing I'll tell you is these gentlemen alluded to is once we've dropped off and our crews are done there, mm -hmm. uh, it's the most passive use you could possibly have of 54 acres of land. Yeah, you'll, you won't see them. It's like they'll come in the mow once or twice a year, and that's it. Mm -hmm. yeah, a little maintenance, and usually just a pickup truck. You know, yep, exactly. Big. Compared to uh, cranberry operation, yeah, where you have that. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing going on. Yeah, so. Uh, the who? Transmission, transmission line. lines for the power? So you bring them out onto both Well, it's not transmission lines in the sense of what you're used to seeing. Basically, the solar arrays produce electricity, obviously, solar power. And where electricity comes to your house on a utility pole and a wire, we're the other way around. It goes out of our, on a utility pole and a wire. Right. So it's. And They raised the poles, and yeah. Is that going to happen on Cole Street? I don't know exactly what happened on Main Street. I will tell you this three-phase power uh, rate at Fuller Street, so we'll just bring the utility poles to what is already there, and that'll be it. And where's that? Is it going out onto Fuller Street? You got the interconnection yeah, spot on there. I have it shown. Yep. Is, isn't that the power line that cuts across? There's a power line that cuts right across the entrance. Yeah, and but isn't it? Doesn't it come from? Behind some of the houses and right it's across this. Right, that's right all here, new. So yeah. Because they cut all our vegetation and put it in. Yep. Yep. Okay. So and it's going to be going through right there. No, it's not. We're not going to be changing it at all. We're going to be coming along the access road and tying in right at that utility pole, and we're not doing anything else. You're not putting any more high power wires nope. in there? Nope. These are, these are lower. Same level of electricity. Is the Eversource uh, well, already? No, they were there. Right, right. <laughs> that, that's part of that's that's what's uh, going on. If you have if you have a contract for purchasing, there, but sometimes I mean, that that's this thing. It's sold to them, like um, a lot of make these projects. One goes to Toby Hospital. One goes is, to uh, Falmouth Hospital. So this could be for some we won't be, or we won't be, yes, we don't right. have any control over Actually, any of the rest of it because we're disconnecting here. We, we um, first um, off we first offer it uh, locally. Wow, we don't know yet. We're, we're community shared solar. Oh, okay. So it's, oh, it's going to be a community. Good. Yep, absolutely. We will operate municipally, commercial, and residential. Eversource has been talking about this for two years now, but they've never told me. What, what we do, we we provide we provide these panels for residential, commercial, and municipal use where you choose not to. Or can't have rooftop panels. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So you, if you live in Carver, you you would be you would be able to sign up and basically basically get the same benefit as if you put a solar panel on your roof. Oh, right. We have a program called Solar Perks, and I'm not in sales, but yeah. believe me, by the time this is permitted, you'll all hear about it from our salespeople. It's a, it's a little more expensive than having one on your roof because then you're only paying directly to the solar producer. And, uh, you know, if you're on, on a... It depends connect. on the company, but right. you're correct. I've got a solar city installation. Okay. All right. Let's keep rolling. No, that okay. Be, now, have, have you guys, uh, no, has Eversource has agreed to the hookup and the, so on? Well, Oh, the interconnection? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'd yeah. never be here yeah, if we so didn't already have that done. But they have, they've given a lot of people in town a lot of problems about it, but we're beginning to work that out. The DPU is... Uh, they'll, go, they'll go down about six feet. Yeah, Brook, but they just screws it. Are we going to continue to sell 20? Yes. All right, let's do that. That's why they use screws. Yeah. And the panels are very light. It's not like they're holding up Jeez, a building. This is early. I'm going to say we used to have meetings till 10:30 and 11. I want to see the end of this. Oh man, is that what it is? I want John.
Kelly was here. Sometimes we ran tele most of the All right, folks. I want to see the end of the Red Sox game. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so we're going to uh, continue this, I guess, right? Yes. I would make a motion that we continue the uh, NOI for um, 42 Fuller Street until September 20th. Okay. Yeah, and I'll, I'll second that one. Been moved and seconded to continue um, DEP SE 126-548 to <coughs> September 20th. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Pass unanimous. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Brad. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Take care. Thank you for your input. Oh, um, Mr. Shanahan, did you get a copy of that from uh, the uh, ladies? I would like one. Thank you, take, sir. Take this one, then. I know where to get more from them, right? <laughs> Secretary stole it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. From the um, the women, the two, the who, to the two, the residents on Fuller Street. I'm gonna hang on to one. I didn't the other one. Well, we should have one. There was only one letter. We have only two. Street. No. What other letter? <coughs> okay, I like to hang on to one yeah. sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's nothing to do. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. list of yeah. 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 Um, I want to get a copy um, of that. You can have mine. Okay. Okay. Take care of that. I'll copy it. And I didn't have a copy because we shared it. So. A little sedition there. <laughs> May I have a copy of that letter also from my file? You're going to have to get it from Brooke. No. Huh? No, I'm sure these Lin ladies. Linda? Or, or Rita? <laughs> Hi, ladies? Ladies? Could you get us a couple more copies of your? Notice. Oh, your list. I that's need one. Come on. Yeah, well. Give one, one to Brooke. Oh, okay. I think we have a We'll copy in the machine. Thanks. <laughs> and uh, okay, so you already have an appointment to talk with uh, Garrison and Johnson together. Good. Okay. And the planning board meeting. You should go to that. Yeah, that's where you're going to get a lot, a lot more answers. Yeah, because that's where. I don't know about that. Well, she <laughs> doesn't like the <laughs> But that's where a lot of your concerns are addressed. Thanks. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's let's keep rolling, folks. Oh, okay. Getting right. close Thank to. You. Thank you. Getting close to the ninth Thanks inning, for coming guys. in. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Missing people. Right, yeah. Missing. yeah, so we don't have no missing on this 31st one. Oh. Well, let's do May 17th. Let's do May 17th, okay? Minutes of May 17th. All right, May Anybody May see needs to? I have uh, May 17th right here. Mm -hmm. Went through that and went through. Uh, yeah. Do you see any need to change it, Tim? No, no, okay. Is everybody present on May 17th? No, Tim no. was not, so Tim cannot vote. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, shamefully, so I was on vacation. Shamefully. All right. Dempsey wasn't Shame present. So we need a motion. By uh, uh, Savory or Jen to um, to approve uh, May seventeenth. I make a motion that we approve the minutes of May seventeenth as written. Okay, and a second on that. Second. Been moved and seconded to approve the minutes of May seventeenth as written. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Pass unanimous. One abstention. One abstention. One abstention. One abstention. That's right. One abstention. That's me. Three zero one. Yeah. Abstain. Okay. June twenty first. Okay, uh, we open the meeting and, wait a minute, Chairman, Chairman, Savory, more The three of us again. Yeah. 
July. June 21. Wait a minute. June 21 or July? I wasn't here for that either. June. June, June 21. Sorry, June. Uh, July. July was the one day. Okay, got it. Okay. Anybody need to see any, uh, any... This looks fine. You make a motion that we approve the um, minutes of June 21st as written. And a second on that? I second. Been moved and seconded to approve the motion, the minutes of June 21st, 2017 as written. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any uh, opposition? Okay, and we have one, again. One abstention. One abstention, yes. Tim was abstained? Yes. I do. had no On vacation, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Look at I see that. Okay, now we go to July. All right, July. Now we're on July. <laughs> July is the one, the one, the yep. one minute meeting. One minute meeting. Yes. Okay. Right. For the group that's dropping. Right. Yeah, but we don't have any missing on here. Oh, she didn't put me missing. We, we need to write missing on people okay, missing. Absent. Missing was Tim and Alex. Yeah. And yeah. And Alex. We have to add that in so when we um, approve it, yep. it's with. Corrections. Right. Okay, so add Tim and Alice is missing. Right. Right. Okay. So other than that, on uh, July 31st. Okay. I can't say it. Yes, it says Secretary Pro Tempore. See in the corner. I make a motion that we uh, approve the minutes of July 31st as amended. Second. It's been a motion moved and uh, seconded to approve the minutes of July 31st as amended. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, so we've got uh, one abstention, and that's Yet it. again. Yep. Okay. So we have that's three. The last one for an abstention, I hope. Yeah. Okay. And at some point we have to decide. We have to talk about. Yes. Well, it's right. He has well, missed at least four meetings. meetings. We do, no, we have to, uh, do we want to have the two discussions? Yeah. The only other thing, yeah, the one discussion was for you know, Dick Ward. Remember when we just took a look at him, he, he was changing the um, yeah, sprinklers. Uh, yeah. He was cleaning out his no. ditch. Ditch. So because they had the, an iron. The, so that the uh, pumps from the, the, the right. yeah, sprinkler heads would not. He wanted to know about what, uh, he wanted to spread the word about what was happening to the sprinkler heads. Mm hmm. Yes. Yeah, he wanted, us, he wanted us to know in case yeah. others came before yeah. us. High yeah. iron. Yeah. In his sprinkler heads. And he hadn't noticed right away that they weren't turning right. appropriately and did right. some he damage. He noticed one area right. that was right. completely dry. And yeah. what type of sprinkler heads did he have? He has pop ups. Yes, the plastic yeah, the, the newer ones, it was supposed to be better, right? But he didn't think, yeah, he thought yeah. the old ones were better. He's putting in the impact ones, which are the ones that are metal, yeah. and the uh, water comes up and hits them and drives yeah. them around. But those have to be removed in the spring, in the fall from and put oh, back in right, the spring. Oh, right, because they, yeah, the, that's uh, right. The pop-ups can stay all, all winter. Yeah. yeah but no good going out here. You need pure water. Yeah. So bad, so bad yeah. heads. So oh, and we also, we looked at... Uh, it's uh, here, Wareham Street, Slocum Gibbs, possible solar project. Yep, um, Slocum Gibbs, I talked to Ian Ward, and he's going to follow a notice of intent for right. Gary Garretson for that the small Excellent. solar thing we have kind of in between okay. his yeah. dike, uh, next to his block. Right, and that's going to be small enough yep. that he that it doesn't uh, have, he shouldn't to have to go to the planning No, board. he wouldn't have to go to the uh, planning board. And he'll he'll have it in, so he'll be on the 20th of right. the next meeting. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. so that'll be a new hearing. I did talk to Ian Nori uh, from Plimpton Sand and Gravel and the... Uh, this project that uh, right the Fuller Street Fuller Street project and I said to him that if you uh, made the project smaller uh, you could possibly utilize the bogs better fill them up and uh, you, if you made it at under 250 uh, kilowatt uh, size but uh, then he you said, wouldn't we have to go to planning board it. that's right you wouldn't yeah. have to it, it would uh, fall outside planning board's uh, supervision so we'll see I, he said, uh, well, he'd think about it, but he wasn't sure. All right, are we done? I I'm done. done. I think we're done. There's nothing else. <laughs> okay. I make a motion that we adjourn. I'll second that. that Move and second well, that we adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I think we seem pretty organized. <laughs> My God, maybe. <laughs>